Yo, what is going on? How's everyone doing today? Anthony's Gaming Shell. I hope you guys are ready because the rising tide is here. I am ready, you guys. I hope you guys have played the game, enjoyed the game. Hope you all have the chance to come by and hang out with me. If not, maybe you're catching this VOD later on. Hope you guys enjoy the show. <clears throat> Comment down below. Chat with me, you guys. Let me know what you're thinking. The whole point of me streaming my games is for a little bit of interaction. So if you guys want to tell me your thoughts, go ahead and I'll go ahead and comment back. Try to comment and reply to everybody. Talk to everybody in chat. We are dual streaming to you guys. So if you want to check me out over live on Twitch, you can. Or if you're watching me over here on YouTube, either way, dropping down the hype, y'all. Dropping down the shell love. I can get emotes over on my YouTube channel, you guys, as soon as we hit 500 subscribers. We're at like 296 right now, so we've been growing. Things are going great. Trying real hard to keep dropping videos, you guys, so we can keep it making content. I did just get in from Amazon the Final Fantasy 16 poster collection. This thing is freaking huge. So um, make sure you guys subscribe because I'm going to be unboxing that and opening it up showing you guys that'll be its own whole own video so you know make sure you stay tuned for that stuff you guys <coughs> and if you can i'll drop some stuff over on twitch later on but yeah you guys i'm super duper excited everything's going good the rising tide dlc has been downloaded i have my jill shirt on i'm ready to go I'm well rested even ate a snack so without a further ado let's go ahead and switch on over you guys oh yeah so we got the rising tide installed <clears throat> so now we can get all of our good stuff we'll go home this is inserted DLC has been downloaded i'm pretty sure last time i turned off the game completely let's go you guys time to join our friends once more <clears throat> here we go this is the screen i wanted to see this is the screen i wanted to share with y'all installing the tides thank you for your purchasing the rising tide your new content is ready to play to access the Rising Tide questline, you must have first unlocked Origin on the World Wap Map. Man, I'm stumbling with the words today. Sorry, guys. As well as complete, <clears throat> as well as complete the side quest where there's a will and priceless. To unlock Cryoscape battle content in the Hideout Air's Stone, you must first clear both the main game and Rising Tide side quests. Redeeming bonus and items will be available. Bonus items will be available for redemption in the System tab. In the menu, up upon reaching the main scenario quest, a chance encounter. <clears throat> well, considering we've beaten the entire game, here we go. A new quest line, the Rising Tide, is now available by expecting the reading table in Clive's hideaway chambers. Oh, so it's just, there's all, yeah, they did say there was a letter. Oh, yeah, you guys. Bam, 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 bam. New items. New quest. Oh yeah, Clive. Are you ready for another adventure? Oi. First. We have to come here, you guys. <clears throat> Let's get our Cortana. Taking upon the Drix. Taking up this Expertly crafted blade in one hand invokes strength, yet familiar image of burdening both born and overcome. Hello there, lightning. Here it is at last. Let's go. How we doing, stoner in the hot box? What up? How's everyone doing today? We just got the new sword. We got two new songs, too. So this one is Torn from the Heavens. A tattered slip of apartment upon which has been hastily scrawled several bars of music and the title torn from the heavens. It's pronounced as unknown and lively, likely foreign. The margin contains a single line of cryptic text presuming added at the price found its way to Valestia. Our shadows lost in light, this fleeting of light. Our shadows lost in light, this life a fleeting kiss. 
<clears throat> and then this one, so I'm, I'm wondering what this is going to sound like. I know this one is going to be the one from the Leviathan theme song. A tattered slip of parchment, through the maelstrom, see, seeing currents whor whirl to whirl the <laughs> seeing currents whirl to swallow up the world. Because it was the world swallow. Ha 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 ha. <clears throat> All right, so first things first. Let's go ahead and first put on song number one. We'll do through the maelstrom first. Bada, 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 bada. I don't think it's going to have any the words, is it? I'm not sure. All right. It's still playing a little bit in the background. That's nice. <clears throat> so we have our new one. Oh, no, it does have the words in the background. Okay, don't. Oh, it's a lot bigger. I guess that makes sense because Clyde has bigger swords. Because, like, my paladin uses it in one hand. But Clive has to have it bigger so it can fit on his whole back. All right, so we got that. And then we have... Torn from the heavens. <clears throat> so I'm wondering if this is just the normal Torn from the Heavens or if it's the Alpha Omega version. As if I know the tonality difference off the top of my head. Jill, this one's going to be about me and you. I hope you're ready. Clive, do you have a moment? Of course. Always. I wanted to give you something. What? Is this? I stitched it from the cloth you gave Hortense. The beast she said you liked best. I told her I used to enjoy needlework, but I didn't think she'd remember. It's beautiful, Jill. You didn't have to. When I was very little, I recall my mother telling me that young ladies of the court would give knights ribbons from their hair before they went off to war. I still wear mine, so I made you this instead. Black is the color of eternity. It cannot be stained. It cannot be sullied. It is unchanging, unwavering, just like your resolve. And mine. Our resolve. May it never diminish. And may it ever bring you back to me. I will always, always be here. Thank you, Jill. I could have swore I got everything, but I guess I had to talk to her another time. It's not time yet. I don't know if I missed that last time or not, but now I have it. That was cool. It's a handkerchief. Did it say it was a actual something I can put on? Let's see here. It would be in gear. Yeah, so we have the new Cortana weapon, but it's not as strong as Omega. No, I guess it wasn't. Because I got all this stuff. Oh, it's extra. A set of reflection of mankind yet flawed. Oh, okay. I think I got that because I beat the last story. <clears throat> okay, the lead is right there, but hold on. Let me check. Let me see if anyone else has another thing to say to me real fast. Then we'll go do the story. Have you played the game and beat it already, Lightning? Gorgeous, I know, right? Oh, I think Jill is so cool. She's one of the best, I think, they did. I put Father's helm in your chambers. He should be with you when his vision is finally realized. Thank you, Joshua. For everything. Nah, don't mention it. <clears throat> All right, 
Do you have anything to say to me, Dion? Be afraid. The resolve didn't falter. No. Though I continue to be bewildered by fate. And I should meet with my old tutor here. The very end of the world. I thank you. With all my heart. For giving me this chance. And I thank you for taking it. Should like to look upon that flower once more. When I am worthy. I stand ready to leave for Origin at your word. May Griega go with us. And see us safely home. Oh man, such good characters. <clears throat> How long did it take you to beat uh, Lightning? I'm really excited to see what this story is going to hold. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to go back and forth, hopefully. So we'll go over there because I want to fight the Tom Berries and everything, too. I don't think they added more hunts, right? No. <clears throat> How are you doing? Here you go. And then yesterday I got the trophies for all of the different actions. So now I just need to maximize everything and beat Final Fantasy mode. <clears throat> That'll be the last three trophies I need to get the game. All right, let's do it, you guys. Let's go beat the Rising Tide. We also got new trophies for this, so we'll see how that goes. Let me drop a save real quick before we start, and then we'll have one for after we start. All right. Unmarked. Sid, I shall not waste time mincing words. Leviathan's dominant is in need of rescue, and despite my innumerable misgivings about joining hands with an outlaw of highest disrepute, the dame has assured me that there is none better suited for the task at hand. I dare not reveal more, for the fear this missive could fall into the wrong hands but what if little i have penned here has kindled your interest i bid your journey to the vale in north reach and acquire that one lethia she should surely see you satisfied let's go leviathan the lost oh but why now after all this time why what now I'm not sure you believe me if I told you. After all we've been through. Shh, shh. True, true, true. I doubt there's anything that could surprise me at this point. <laughs> all right then. Rouse Joshua and meet me in the mess. We'll talk there. Oh yeah, let's go, bro. Oh, I'm so excited. I want to see. Yeah, I got the poster collection, so I'm gonna unbox that soon. And then... you see we're all here. So. What is it this time? I'm not sure yet. The letter delivered to my chambers omitted a few crucial details. Do we know its provenance? That was one of the details it omitted. But whoever the sender was, it seems the dame held them in high enough regard to point them in our direction. The dame? Well, she's not one to waste our time. It must be important. Important might be an understatement. If the letter is to be believed, Leviathan's dominant is in danger. And someone wants us to save him. Leviathan? So the Warden of Water has finally returned. What has it been? A hundred years? More. The lost moniker dates back at least that long. Even our venerable lawsman would not have been so much as a glint in his father's eye when last the mighty serpent brought his crushing waves to bear upon the realm. But why the gap? I know it can be a few years before a new dominant's born, but over a century? Should the dominant of water's bloodline have been severed somehow, it could have prevented a new dominant from awakening. But if one has awakened now, 
He couldn't have chosen a worse time. Every nation in the realm has lost its dominant. If word gets out that there is still one to be had, they will stop at nothing to claim it for their own. And the twins will be at war again, just when humanity most needs to come together. Did the letter say anything else? Only that if I wish to know more, we must meet in person. And that the Vale can arrange a meeting. Hmm. If nothing else, you can be certain it ain't a trap. <laughs> Famous last words. I'm coming with you. As am I. Thank you. Both of you. And Otto? Yeah, yeah. I'll keep an eye on things here. Didn't fancy coming anyway. <laughs> Thank you. I shall leave the Invincible in your capable hands. I didn't realize his gear is so gray. But yeah. I think I fixed some stuff. Does that sound better? The comb. No cone. I like it that way. The EQ, honestly. <clears throat> For some reason, my output was a little lower, and then I did raise the volume of the gameplay. So, and then my voice is going above, like on the yellow. So that should be okay. Let me actually raise it a little bit more. How's that? <clears throat> yeah, fifteen. I like that one. Okay. So, chasing tide. Quest destinations for the rising tide are indicated with a rising tide symbol. After accepting the quest, current objectives are displayed in the to-do list on the right-hand side of the screen. These will temporarily replace the main scenario. If you wish to restore a main scenario, just switch over to the main journal. That's kind of like what they did last time, right? But I mean, pretty much, there's not much else we can do, so... We've done everything else. Oh, she has new things to tell me. What will it be today? What is it that you wish to learn? I have the details here. Meeting the tides. Characters appearing in the rising tide have been added to the grand cast and the timeline has been updated to speak with Vivian to learn more. Okay, but I haven't done anything yet. I don't think so. <laughs> One must understand one's place in the world. Information on the rising tide have been added to the situation map. The timeline has been updated. Speak with Vivian the hideout. Very good. <clears throat> All right. Come talk to you after things happen. Where do I have to go? Fine. Oh, we have to go to Northreach. I have to go to a different area. North Reach. Let's do all Rising Tide stuff, and then from there, we'll see how it goes. We can try and do some of the Cryos Core afterwards. I ain't got no money. I can't buy more scrolls. The garrison said they take another hundred. To the veil it is then. Forgot how clean the UI looks on this game. And now my eye the garrison. Unless if they updated it. There's like nothing here but game right now. That's really pretty. Looks like you've got first. I like cloth. I like talk. the sword. How about you? That armor looks positively stifled. The garrison may have kept the whites from the I wish there was a mini map though, because I get lost. Fine, Leia. I'd assume you would have a marker above your head. Like Fancy that one. Peek behind the veil, my lord. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm looking for a Layla. <laughs> you found one. So, will your friends be joining in? Or just watching? <laughs> uh, we're not here for your services. We simply want to talk. What you do with your time is up to you. The price is still the same. 
<laughs> we hear about the letter. Oh. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I suppose you'll be wanting to know who wrote it then. Among other things. Look, I'm just the messenger here. There's only so much I can tell you. Specifically? A location, north of town, on the shore of Isla Feist Bay. There you'll find a tent and the woman who can answer your questions. And that's all? Nothing else? Actually, one thing. There's more than flowers in the meadows these days. So keep that sword of yours to hand. All right, here we go, you guys. It is time. I think I adjusted the sound level, so let me know if anything doesn't sound good. Does anyone else think it's strange that this woman should prefer to keep to the outskirts of town? Not if she realizes the value of the information she's party to. And the danger it puts her in. And that's the other thing I really like about Final Fantasy 16 is just the setting alone. Like, I don't know about you guys, but like this nice sounds good. Okay, good. I like the fantasy, like more medieval. Like there's nothing wrong with Midgard, don't get me wrong. But like, I am ready to go see the new area. But even this part, I like, I don't know. Two different games, two sides of the coin. But you can't, I don't know why people can't say this is amazing. Ooh, look, there's a little the tan. is where Layla said it would be. Yes, but who awaits us inside? Nobody. Let's first look over here. A boat. No prizes for guessing who that belongs to. Do you think we'll meet Shula right away, or are we going to meet Shula when we go to the wave? Because there's the wave. You telling me we're going to take this little dinky boat all the way over there? Is that why Joshua stays? He's like, I'm not getting that boat. I love this world too. Ballastia is so cool. It's empty. Why am I not surprised? All right. Now let's look at the fire pit. The embers are still warm. So you're Sid. I suppose I must be. Which means you have me at a disadvantage. Apologies. I am Shula, tributary of Mesidia, final haven of the Moats of Water. The Moats of Water. The very tribe into which it was believed Leviathan's dominant was born. A people notable for their sapphire eyes and ivory hair. Yes, that would be impossible, since the tribe famously... Vanished. Was exterminated. <laughs> Despite the best efforts of both church and state, we are still very much alive. Though we've managed to keep that fact hidden from good Grieger's faithful for over a century. Along with Leviathan's dominant. That wave out there, what do you know of it? The surge. Only that it's been there a long time. Since the fall of Drake's Eye almost a century ago. Some claim the two are connected, but none can speak with any certainty. 
So in other words, you know nothing. Not that I'll hold it against you. The wave was raised by Leviathan in an act of rage. Moments before the waters were stayed, and the Icon and its dominant bound within. And you want us to... Rescue him. Yes. You see, a little bird told me about a certain outlaw with a singular knack for putting unruly dominance in their place. And ours is about as unruly as they get. For years, we've searched for someone who could hold their own against an icon. Someone just like you. So what do you say? Will you help us? What exactly did your dominant do to warrant this punishment? What did he do? He committed the greatest crime one of his kind can. He was born. But he deserves a better fate than the one my people forced upon him. He deserves to be free. As do we all. Very well. Far-fetched though your tale may seem. Something tells me you speak in earnest. So we will do what we can for your dominant. But first, you will tell us everything you know about him and the means of his imprisonment. I can do better than that. I can show you. Care to take a trip across the bay? My people await you there. Lead the way. Oh, I thought that's where they were initially the title. <laughs> All right, let's go, bro. It makes so much sense. Oh, I didn't notice that the wave was right there. Or is that new? I should have paid attention yesterday. So we're gonna have to save him because he's stuck in there. Yeah, they meet Shula right away. Good, good. Let's sail to Mystelia. Oh, I'll probably do it right here. Let's go. All right, you might want to hold on to something. We're coming up on the wall, and passing through can take a bit of getting used to. I don't see any wall. Of course you don't. That's the point. It's a glamour woven by our ancestors to keep our village hidden from prying eyes. But don't take my word for it. Watch. <sighs> oh, that was worse than a slug of Bacchus wine. Clive. The sky. It's blue, but how is that possible? You do know what a glamour is, don't you? Ours just happens to work both ways, and a good thing too. I wouldn't fancy staring at those sickly clouds every day. Yeah, you're right where it was, Lightning. Oh, I'm so excited to see what happens. Because we don't really... They, she says you know what glamour and is, don't you? But concludes our little voyage. We're here.
It's a long slog to the village, and a hard one. I, uh, hope you're up for a climb. Oh, I'm so excited to do this. Is it just me or do the graphics look better too? Because that cutscene of Clyde's face. Finally. What? You didn't think we'd arrive, did you? The village isn't up here. It's on the other side of the mountain. Of course it is. Home, come in. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we still have our normal powers for now. Nothing new's added. Now we have Shula though. <laughs> that obelisk. I wonder how she's gonna fight. Cause that's an ax, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, I feel like it looks a little better. They spend more time rendering this area since it's different. If so, that's really cool. Because even look at the background, like, look how pretty that is. And it's nice, too, to be back under the blue sky. It's not that the purple sky is not good, it's just. It gets a little different after a Watch while. Yourself, Sid. This path can be treacherous. If not for the sheer drop, then for the beasts who prowl it. Thank you for the warning. And please, call me Clive. Sid is an alias. You will be pleased to learn, Lady Shula, that I have no such aliases. Is that so, Lord Margrace? It's all the same to me. Oh, Lord Mar <laughs> Jill just called him straight out. She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Weren't you also hiding away who your true identity was for a little while, mister? I don't know. Can I call my chocobo? No, I cannot. Okay, so we have to walk. That's fine. Let's walk and enjoy how pretty it is out here. I feel like layout-wise, I can't even remember. Maybe it's Final Fantasy IX, but like I remember pulling up in a boat and getting off in a path like that from somewhere. They said they took Mysteria from, like, other games, but it's not the same. Because there's normally just a village with magic. But it also, in number, what was it? I think it's Final Fantasy 2? Or is it when it's in it? What game is it from? But it doesn't have something to do with Pandemonium 2. Which I think is funny, because all of those things have something to do with Final Fantasy 14. Yoshi P did all that with the different raids and stuff. Yeah, the game is beautiful. Everything looks so... I don't know. I just feel like they did a good graphical update with this. Alright, let's go, you guys. I was wondering when they pick up our scent. Stand back. We'll handle this. Oh, heck oh, yeah. They're level 50. Shall I keep my axe and spells to myself? Alright, let's go. spells yet I see you carry no crystals since when did a bearer ever need crystals but then where is your brand waiting for me in Sunbreak if I ever get careless <laughs> then it's in for a long wait and that's the other thing too like oh man I can't wait I'm gonna like if you guys are watching this live and you're not chatting, that's perfectly fine. Like, we love our lurkers. But I will not be talking during the cutscenes. Because I'm going to use this as B-roll footage for uh, videos and stuff. Ideally, when I can get, like, the 40k 
uh, Elgato graphics card and I can record it separate, then it's not a big deal. But for right now, I can't do that. But like, oh my God, I can't wait to see the rest of the story. But she's right. Like the same thing with Glamour. I don't remember them ever saying Glamour that often in Final Fantasy 16. I know they use Glamour a lot in Final Fantasy 14. But like the first time I feel like we actually use Glamour stuff is when we got our sword change. And that's why we can see the thing. The glamour works both ways. That makes so much sense. And like she said too, what, why would she need... Because most of them can just use magic. If we're going to go to the city and they just all like... It's a village of magic people. They don't have a brand because that's a other side of the pond kind of thing, you know? Like, oh yeah, in Sandbrick they brand your magic people because y'all's laws out there are different. We're a nice secluded island people who nobody knows we live a different culture I'm just happy I can level up so much faster oh, I got him. I need something that has a little more bang for its buck and that is not it right now uh, but that's it either. Let's do Shiva and then this. I think I want a Garuda. That way I can zip fast, ice some, and then bring them closer towards me. Or I can jump up in the air. We're what almost it? at the summit. From there, you'll have a better view of our home. Oh yeah, dude, here we go. They're gonna switch to a chromatic cutscene again. Like you can tell the difference between the CGI cutscenes they made and then the cutscenes like in game, like here we go. That's all. Oh. Few have ever set eyes on what I'm about to show you. Just so you know. This is not what I expected. Welcome, my friends, to Mercidia. It's been a long time since I saw the North looking so... so... Alive. How I'm is... sure you have plenty of questions, but it's been a long journey, and I expect we could all do with a rest. Our humble village is only a short way from here, if you'd care to accompany me. Let's get ourselves in front of a fire, and I'll tell you everything you need to know. Oh, do you... Okay. It's... it's beautiful, Shula. And we aim to keep it that way. If they're not using crystals from the mother crystal, and the, is that why the plight isn't here? Because they're not, like, mistreating the planet by draining it with the soul crystal? The mother crystal they do have fallen airships here so the fallen maybe they have some technology even the enemies i think are different too technically huh i don't think they have the same enemies out there oh missed oh okay i was like are you not something for me to fight Let's go. Gotta get more EXP and get more AP so we can get our powers up and stuff. And then from there, whatever we get to, we can just utilize that and go to Final Fantasy mode. It'll be fun to play the whole game in like an egg order now. Are those stones glowing? 
That's one of the cairns which maintain the glamour. Steer well clear. Interesting. I don't need to speculate. I can learn everything right now. Let's go. Northern world. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Alright, just around the river. The search was an act of rage. One wonders what prompted it. Okay, look at that wave. The location reminds me of Grand Pulse from Final Fantasy 13, a vast wilderness, but the name of Spirit is from number two. Number two and a different one, right? They used it twice. But yeah, no, it's so pretty. I still need to play all the 13. I never got that far. I do not have an Xbox. Can I get a Game Pass then? I guess I can just get it on my PC that way. Alright. Ooh, that was good. Ooh, nice. Treasure chest. Ooh, reflection of fire. Phoenix shift. What is that? Oh, okay. I was on top. Enhance Phoenix shift. Increase both distance. Oh. Really? That's kind of cool. Accessory. Phoenix Shift is probably one of my favorite uh, ability points. So, <laughs> distance and longevity, huh? We we'll save it for later. That's probably the first one. I don't think there's any other chest I've missed so far. Let's go, Antelope. Oh, gosh. Bring it as close as I wanted to. Oh, that one's a old one. It's not fair for killing old ones. You don't usually attack those. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I felt bad if they're old. <laughs> I just need the EXP Could and the not kill. We ourselves the mountain crossing by landing further north. In clear view of the bay. Need as much EXP money and AP as we can get. I figured, because yeah, we have the entire game to redo it again, but. The more I get now, the better. Ooh, can I go this way first? Poor little antelope. They must suffer for my EXP gain. Five chucks of wire. 
No, there's nothing over here right now. Oh, I can't even cross this part. Okay. That full limit power too, but I don't really need it so far. Even though the enemies are level 50, they're not much stronger, which I guess is fine. It's just, um, we need to, at least they'll give us more EXP. That's the important part. All right, here we go. On evening tides, does morning's light return? Open the gates! The tributary is home! that dog all right now back to your duties you'll have to forgive my people their curiosity we don't get many visitors or any truth be told then we are honored to be the first this is quite extraordinary like stepping into another world so do you believe me now You've made it difficult not to, my lady. But how did your people chance to settle here, in the north? Unless I am much mistaken, the moats of water long called the coasts of Southern Ash their home. Until Drake's horn fell and the blight forced them ever inland, where... We met our doom, along with our dominant. I see you've read the Gregorian Church's account, but perhaps you'd like to hear ours. Mm -hmm. That building over there is the Witten Hall. It's where my people gather to discuss matters of import. We can speak more inside once the place is ready to receive you. It shouldn't take long, but you're welcome to explore the village while I see to things. Thank you. We'll do just that. All right. I'm gonna mean my party makeup has changed. Still the same of us, right? Oh, I guess because Shula left. So can we explore a little bit? Or should I just go straight over there? There's always two sides to every story, and of course, the church the said. Thin, the leaves limp. We should dress the soil with dung and straw at once. Or I fear for the autumn harvest. Nobody questions. Nobody were to go and check for themselves. The church says it's not there. It's not there. The glamour, I'm sure, helped. Ha ha, this is what I was looking for. Ageless ornament. What does that do? Used in crafting. Okay. Small square. Nice. First time. So they're not allowed to go over there at all. Speaking of two sides of the story, are you excited for the seasons two of House of Dragon? Are you not familiar with the series? The House of Dragons, is that the uh what do you call it? Game of Thrones spin-off? I've never actually watched Game of Thrones or any of that. I wouldn't mind. 
I'm sorry, but I don't like it. Outsiders should stay. Because I like those type of stories. It's one of those things that, that takes a while. Don't look like much if you ask me. Look, that one's got a black cape. Do you think he's the leader? Yeah, I am. Look, Nan, it's the outsiders. Hush, it's not polite to call outsiders outsiders. It's true. Do you think this bridge has been standing here? Oh, at least as long as we have. <laughs> Ma'am, I want to play with the others. Well, you should have thought about that before making such a mess. So you're going to be there for a while. Let's try and see if we can find any other treasure chests. We found one. I would assume we'll get the sword at some point too, like a new Leviathan sword or something. Pretty sure yesterday they said that they would get new accessories too in that little interview. Game of Thrones prequel. Oh yeah, it's a prequel, not a spinoff. Spinoff for the prequel. They're the tributary guests. If you're a fan of the opening chapters of 16, you'll like Game of Thrones. Yeah, because they took the aspiration, right? Inspiration. I think the first couple episodes just are kind of long. I think I always get sidetracked. There were curves everywhere, look. I got the channel. I should watch it. Oh, can I watch House of Dragons first? Excuse me. Can I watch the House of Dragons first, or do I need to watch all the Game of Thrones first? Please, Grandad. Tell us another story about the wig. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All right, let's see. I think that's everywhere. Welcome to Haven. The tributary awaits you within the Witten Hall. The tributary is like the city council. Let's bust through those doors, Clive. Show me who's boss. So what do you think of our little Haven in the woods? It might not have all the comforts of a southern settlement, but at least it's ours. And there's a lot to be said for that. It can't have been easy keeping this place a secret. Not easy, no. We've dedicated our lives to maintaining the glamour that conceals us. Us and Walius. This man, Walius, is he Leviathan's dominant? That's right. Though he's no man, Walius is still a baby. A baby? Forgive me, but you said that the Dominant and his icon were bound inside the Surge almost a century ago. That would surely make him older still. It would, if he'd been allowed to age. But the spell robbed the poor bairn of even that. I'm sorry? Walius was the son of my great-grandfather. Leviathan awoke within him almost immediately, but instead of allowing the lad to live out his life as a valued member of the community, my ancestors sought to put his power to other uses. Sadly for them, the Icon sensed their treachery and summoned a wave so large it would have swallowed the entire village if my ancestors hadn't stopped him. Then it is not the surge that binds the child, but time itself. Yes. Forgive me. I'm still not sure I understand. I'm not surprised. It isn't the easiest thing to explain. Which is why it might be better if I took you to see him. 
show you exactly what he has to endure. That is why we came. Then let us be off. There's a road that leads north from the village. It'll take us right into the surge. Are you bound for the wave, tributary? We are, Delina. Have you spread the word about our guests? I have. Everyone knows to treat them as family. You shouldn't have any trouble now, but just in case, I would have you accept this symbol of our people. That's very kind. I look forward to meeting the family. The feeling's mutual. Should the tributary be indisposed, feel free to ask me any questions you might have regarding the village, and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you. We will. Then I bid you good tide. Our storehouse lies across the bridge. If you're short of supplies, you may find what you need there. Though we will have to ask you for recompense, poor as we are. Nice. <clears throat> All right, Let's see what he got. My lord. Yeah, I know that makes sense, Lightning. Game of Thrones is for people who haven't like read the books and everything, and then it's easier. And then the new one, you have to kind of know what's going on. Yeah, I'll start trying to get into it a little more. I know what you mean, though. Once you start something, it's like, oh, yeah, I'm in it. Oh, is that the big announcement? Mobile gaming razor? I want a new headset or something. <sighs> yeah, I did get the... Uh, the, uh, another book in yesterday. I have the Final Fantasy 16 art book. I'll unbox that one for the channel too. And then I bought the two pass book. So I'm gonna read that and then I'll try to like make a video out of that too. There's so much about the little side stories we can learn about the characters. I think that's so cool. Let's learn about Dahlia. My name is Delina. Delina, sorry. And I serve as a joint to Lady Shula, tributary, while other adjustments who came before me play the role of guardian as well as aid. Lady Shula is an advent warrior in her own right and requires no protection. So I assist her in ministering to our people's affairs while she's absent or indisposed. By way of example. It was who I informed the rest of the village of your coming to the treasury. There is aught you wish to know of our people village. Do not hesitate to ask. As I'm sure you're aware. This land was once the domain of the Northern Thrain, though the settlement and land abandoned them signed when the ancestors wandering finally brought them here. Remote as it was, it seemed to them the ideal place to settle, and the duty cast the glamour over it, and that their new home would remain hidden. The secret of the spell itself has been passed down from generation to generation since the time we left Ash, using it to die skies our camps and the custodians of the land through which we wonder should not learn of our trespass and that our these temporary enchantments would leave our ancestor to complicate a more permanent solution upon arriving so they here. built the cans filled with the shards of crystals for the tribe could spare and summoned forth a glamour large enough to cover the entire land and for many days and nights thereafter the bears lambered to attune the spells that the other world might see this place scurly slowly succumb to the plight and thus we hid ourselves away welcoming none of our private haven until you that is at first the spell was only worked one way it was only after the skies changed that we conquered a second illusion for the benefit of those inside it was lady shula's idea a sail for the nerve of those who feared the rolling storm clouds would harbor of the end i pray that at least brings you a little relief of darkness the world beyond the wells that had done us so technically oh house of dragon doesn't explain the characters they just want you to kind of understand what's going on that's fair so technically the sky is still ruined it's just uh 
we have a second glamour to make it look pretty. So before they used to stare at the purple sky. Our story began. On our narrow coast of the southern ash, where for want of arable land, we relied on the mountain's rain to quench our thirst and the bounty of the sea to fill our bellies, and thus did we learn the value of water. After the fall of Drake's Horn, we spent decades in exile, drifting across the deserts and snow fields of the Twines, till at last we arrived here in Mystidia. Mystidia, a Sioux second nature home. Here we found mountains, rivers, and seas not unlike those of our first home in Ash, that we lacked was crystals. And we have no mother crystal of our own here, nor have we received any stripped in from our neighbors. Was it not for the few shards that we had been able to stockpile during our wandering in storm, might we never survive the first few winters, let alone cast the glamour that protects us. For to demand that the bears among us sacrifice their lives for the benefit of others was never an option. The hardships that we faced on our journey brand brought us together, and we would not be divided again. Thankfully, our unity provided our strength. So here we have stayed, dependent only upon the blessing which this land provides us. The springs, the rivers, the seas, all, these are all which moat of water need. Because each tribe gets their own dominance. And I they're the water tide. tribe. We're the fire tribe. Technically, Jill's the ice tribe, right? And you have like the earth tribe and the wind tribe. All right, let's see here. Two side quests. Uh, Sid. Yes, milady. You are Sid, aren't you? The man the tributary told us about. I wonder if you could help me. With what exactly? Oh, nothing too troublesome. Do you know my husband, Pavart? He's the village smith, among among other things. Anyway, his name day is not far off, and I wanted to make a gift for him. He's a craftsman, you see, and he's been fretting about running low on the flowers he uses for dye making. So I wondered if you might collect some for me and give them to him. Uh, would this gift not be better coming from you? Perhaps, but it can't, for reasons I can't go into. Please, I know it sounds daft, but I'd be ever so grateful. Awkward, but yes. What? No money. <laughs> Fine. Which flowers does your husband need? The sweet little blue ones that grow around the fount. Elder's blessings, they're called. We use them to dye our fabric so we always feel close to water like they are. You don't need to go to the trouble of picking them yourself, though. Just speak to the field hands and ask them to share their harvest with you. Two basketfuls should be enough for my husband to be getting on with. Two basketfuls it is. I guess that seems reasonable. I was wondering what the blue powers were for. Awkward that she can't give it to her husband herself, but okay. Let's try and finish this quest and then we'll do the next one. Can I go through the water? I cannot. Ooh, if Aerith could see me stepping on these flowers. Excuse me. I wonder, might you be able to spare a basket of Elder's Blessings? Pavard's wife tasked me with collecting some for her husband and suggested that I speak to you. Ah. Werda wants you to bless her better half with the fruits of our labor, does she? Go on, then. Give the old fool something to squirm about. I'm sorry. Ah, don't worry about it. An old fool Pavard may be. But if you come bearing gifts, he's not fool enough to turn you away. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you.
Maybe we should have met the husband first. The mirrors. My people believe they frighten off trespassing demons by showing them the evil in their hearts. Would you care to take a look? Yeah, let's go. Show the me. Mirrors. My people Show me my darkness. All right, flower person number two. Ah, welcome to Haven, friend. Thank you. Forgive my presumptuousness, but the smith's wife has asked me to make her husband a present of some elder's blessings. Two basketfuls, to be precise. Well, I have one, if that's any help. It is. I'm much obliged. They really are beautiful. Aren't they just? Though that's not the only reason they have a special place in our hearts. Legend has it that when our people fled from Ash, the tributary of the time took some seeds with them. And as they wandered high and low across the twins, he'd plant them wherever they stopped for water. Every elder since has done the same. So when we finally put down roots here in Mesidia, the flowers did too. Well, that's two basketfuls. Oh, here we go. Here's the quick complexion. After completing the main objective of some quest, you may give me the option to quickly travel to the quest destination. If you see the prompt in the lower right corner, press and hold down the start button immediately to travel to the NPC. Of course, the option is not mandatory. Time to visit Pavat. Let's go. How much time will that save me? Pavat, where were you? I was there, now I'm here. <sighs> what do you want? Your wife asked me to bring you these flowers. Other blessings that grow by the water's edge lasting blue dye, which smote water's warrant to stay their fabrics. This much is known, quite the warden the wife have paid in. The artist Pervat needs Clyde to restock her husband's supply of flowers remains a mystery. Will he help us now because I helped him? Is that what I had to do? <sighs> that woman. Come out. I know you're there. H who? Me? <laughs> <clears throat> Would either of you care to explain what's going on? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to deceive you. It's just, my husband can be a bit standoffish at times, and I thought this might be a good way for the two of you to get acquainted. What with you being a swordsman-like and him being the only smith in the village? It'd be a shame if you couldn't turn to him for help. The only reason he couldn't turn to me for help is because I had my hands full with all the orders you lot dumped on me. I'm pretty much done with them now, though. But, for the record, the tributary said that we were to lend you outsiders our aid, and that's exactly what I was planning to do. With or without my darling wife's meddling. Still, here we are. Acquainted. So, if there's out you need, just bring us the materials, all right? All right. All right, then. And tar for the flowers. I was running low. You use them for dyeing, I hear. Aye. Crush the petals and it makes a fine and lasting blue. We use it to stain the cloth for our tunics and pennons. To remind us where we come from, like. As moats of water. Children of the sea. That's right. The pattern, too, was left by our ancestors. The ceaseless rill, it's called symbolizes the river of our tribe with the strength of leviathan running through it and no matter how that river has ebbed and flowed changed its course the flowers have always been with us 
growing on our banks. <clears throat> I should get back to work. If you need something crafting, let me know. Oh well. It was a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Wasn't it just? The first time I noticed that. You think that's a nod to Final Fantasy X? Ooh, I got Reflection of the Earth. Oh, so all these new accessories are going to enhance my um icons abilities. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, no, I understand what you mean, Lightning. I'll probably use it for when we play Final Fantasy mode, and we'll probably just walk back to the side quest here, but I don't even think they're going to give us that many side quests other than like these first few. And I'm sorry, Mike, that sucks that they blocked it. Yeah. Ooh, haven't found uh, really now available. What is that? The Smith? Probably had to do that quest in order to get him to help yes. me. But he's just going to be the same dude as the other dude, right? Not like he can make anything special. He only makes the same stuff the other dude makes. Do you record all your stuff, Mike? That way you can save it for other things? That's why I try to save, or I try to record while I stream, and then I try to, like, download them sometimes. <clears throat> A good tie to you. Doesn't even really do anything fancy. Wait. Oh, I'll have her hide when she gets back. Oh, sorry. I was leagues away. How can I help you? If you're after something from the storehouse, it's actually my wife you'll want to talk to. She will have to charge you for the goods, though. Not that would fleece you or anything. It's just, you know, needs must. I understand. Saying that, she might not be able to get anything down for you for a bit. Ah, oh, right. She's got a hands full with the inventory, you see. It should have been my daughter's job, really, but the willful little rills decided to make herself scarce. Oh, the heavens only know where that girl's got to. If you'd like me to keep an eye out for her. Oh, no. I couldn't ask that of an outsider. Could I? You wouldn't mind? No, I'll do it. Of course not. She won't have gone far, will she? I hope not. But I've scoured the entire village for her and come up empty-handed. Can't help thinking she might have gone on another one of her little adventures. Ah. A free spirit, is she? Aye, that she is. Can't get her to sit still. Especially once you heard you lot were on your way. Outsiders! You should have seen her little eyes light up. Oh, if she wanted to watch you arrive, she'd have made for the low gate where you first came in. The guard there might have spotted her. Maybe you could ask him. Uh, Ruka, her name is. All right. I'll let you know if I find her. Try not to worry. The music? scrolls what is it a from is it from another final fantasy game track it does sound familiar but, I don't know. but they used a different instrument set and they changed the tempo a little bit i think that's the other thing i like especially about music is that you can use similar music from other games or other part of the series and just by changing a little bit it can sound Excuse so much me. different you haven't seen the storekeeper's daughter have you little ruka 
I have, as it happens. She went out through the gate not long ago. Out of the village? Alone? Aye. She does it all the time. There's a path off to the left which leads down to the river. Nice little spot, that. And safe as you like. The beast of the mountain don't dare come so close to the village. That's where she'll be. Go and have a look if you don't believe me. I will. That's from this game? I have to go outside and look for this girl. Oh, okay, it's back to the other spot. I was wondering why that was there. Is it from... I don't think it's Jill Song, is it? It's probably a different characters. This must be the path. Ugh. Or is it Jill Song? Because I know that Jill has a lot to do with this side quest they were saying. They came from the ice, right? That's what makes them water. It's you! I've been looking everywhere for you. You must be Rooker. You know my name? Can you lot read minds? <laughs> Your father asked me to keep an eye out for you. You left without telling him where you were going. He was worried. But I went to look for you. Well, now you found me. What do you say we head back to the village and let your father know you're safe? All right. And on the way home, you can tell me all about the world beyond the wall. I want to know everything. <laughs> everything might be a stretch. Reminds me of Attack on Titan. World beyond the wall. What is this world? Thank you for bringing her home. And I'm sorry for the trouble. Oh, no. It was a pleasure. Daddy, did you know that there are villages ten times as big as Haven in the outside world? Ten times! Cities, they call them. And in these cities, they have great big walls and towers and castles. Oh, <laughs> to think I was worried. You can tell me all about the outside world later, sweet pea. Now go and help your mum with the stores. All right. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with her questions. She, uh, has a lot of them. One of the big ones being, what are the people beyond the wall like? Reckon you've made a good first impression. Are we the only ones she's ever met? That you are. The rest of the world can't know we're here. So we'll have to be very careful who we're letting in and out. A few of us might make the occasional trip to shore for supplies, but for the most part, we'll make do with what we've got. Including what the old northern has left us. Yes. You built on top of the old ruins, didn't you? Well, they make for fine foundations. Their masons clearly knew what they were doing. That's one thing we don't have to worry about. <laughs> oh, it's everything else that's the problem. Medicines, metals for tool making, anything like that. We have to dress up as traveling merchants and make a trip to the outside and pray to every cloud in the heavens that nobody sees through us. Uh, which explains why you need Gil. Aye. And now Rook is back, my wife should be free to assist you with any potential purchases. So please, do make good use of our stores, because we fully intend to make good use of your coin. <laughs> I'll be sure to keep my purse strings loose. Aaron and uh, Clive kind of have a lot in common, though, huh? Ooh, another material. So now I can open the store. 
Oh, but he probably has different orchestra roles. It's a pity nothing but the foundations were left standing. A whole storehouse made of stone would make it a lot easier to keep our supplies in good nick. Oh. Thanks for bringing me daughter back. I don't grudge her looking for adventure, but she's got to pull away it like the rest of us. Anyway, now we've got the inventory done, I can attend to my own tasks. Like seeing to our visitors' needs. So, was the role you wanted? When you've decided what you want, just let me know. Oh, shoot, that is stronger. But I cost 8,000 gil. Why am I so broke? Oh, is it Sid's song? Safe Haven. Seems familiar, but the authors are not. I think they all say that though, right? Ba -ba -ba. Oh, is it from the trailer? Another consumable. Oh, okay, it's a consumable. I see what it is. So I need 16,000 so I can buy this new stuff. I'll be here. Bob with your bark. What do you think that probably keep going with the story then? Should be doing more season wars outsiders. How long do you think this bridge is going to Get swole, sir. There you go. Some nice man muscles for the day. I have always keeps his stuff on. Um, I guess that's all I can do in here, really. Oh, it's the Awaken trailer from the Rising Tide. was the awakening one. Oh, that you can pet him more and takes less time to pet him too now. I'll go back and listen to those later. <laughs> That's cute. It's coming out of the controller. Get it, boy. stuff but I don't have enough stuff to buy I don't think I have anything either I can sell suddenly there were curls everywhere look it's fine I'll come back and buy it later I don't think I'm that weak compared to everybody else did you hear that I don't think this is the last time that uh we're gonna be coming to the village open sesame There's a oh, pair of ships the just up ahead. Ships? But are we not still leagues from the shore? Hey, it was three years ago I made that trailer. I can't believe how long it's been since they've like promoted this game versus to how long it's come. But I guess that's really cool, like a nice way to wrap it up. The legacies of the crystal has changed our history for long enough. Oh. From the Awakening trailer. Before we start Final Fantasy mode, I would like to at least buy all what of the orchestra rules. What was it season? called? When you've decided what you want, just let me know. Safe Haven.
Oh, I have some gill bugs. This is all we can peer. They don't give me less money here than they do other stores, do they? Twenty-eight. I'll be able to buy my things. Oh, I can buy more materials here. Cool. Alright, you're willing to give me 28,000. I think that's really all I have I can sell. That does help, actually. Should I take it or do I go somewhere else to see if I'll they be sell? here. I would assume everyone makes the same amount of money, right? Nice. Now the continent over here has more glow. Oh no, that is that one. Still alive, are you? Going first, weighing you down. Perhaps, perhaps that's why I've come. I want to see if you give me any more money than the other one. No, you guys are all the same. You got out else? Finished, are you? But what you have at the end is a dangerous world scrolls. out there. My star, logos, of the prominent, all as one, land of the icons, farewell, holos. I kind of want to buy these. Is that all? We'll buy the new gear and then we'll go ahead. We'll save all the uh, stuff for later. See how much money I can make from everybody else. I probably can reinforce them too, actually. When you've decided what you want, just let me know. May it serve you well. Well, uh, if you're sure you need it. Why it was stronger. I'll be here. What do you think the tributary season was? Okay. So we got that. Yes. Reinforce. Oh, it can't make it any stronger right now. Well, we tried. That's fine. Till next time, then. At least I have the strongest gear for right now. All right, let's go kill some monsters. This is what I mean, though. I get sidetracked sometimes. This is why when people say, "Oh, it only takes like five hours," I'm like, "Hey, eh, it might take me six or seven. I did eat some cereal earlier, so that's good. I'm not that hungry. I think for lunch, I'm just gonna warm up some leftovers from the other day. So I'll just get that later when I'm hungry. Right now, we'll just keep level grinding and keep going. Sorry, guys. I need some money. I didn't realize how much gill bugs I just had sitting in my purse. I should probably just go the way the store wants me to go. Because I know that they kind of just make you go. Everything they have here is kind of with a purpose. I don't think I'll come back here later anyways. This is more hidden than I thought it was. 
So, I mean, something will happen here. Oh, hey, look. This kind of reminds me of what they're doing with Dontrell, too. Oh, is that why they're doing it this way? <laughs> I think it's connected. Every Final Fantasy game is all the same. Yeah, so this game got announced three years ago. It came out a year ago. And now the game has been finished. But it was finished before. That's the thing. It's all connected. get hurt. Nobody touches me. So uh, I need to get every little bit I can. The quickest route to the surge is due east. Past the second galley. Shula, how did these ships come to be here? What do you imagine happens when an icon of water gets angry? Really, brother, did you have to ask? I was thinking the same thing in my head. I'm like, wow, there's a ship there. And then I was like, well, I guess maybe because of the wave. Don't think you're so smooty, tooty, smarty pants, Mr. Joshua. Yeah. Eight bloody hearts. <laughs> Dude, I love that little combo I made. <laughs> I hit him, I draw him in, and then I spin him up. The Final Fantasy this trail only leads deeper into the forest. We should head back. The Final Fantasy 16, all you do is hit the same button over and over again. There's no difference. Okay. Obviously, you did not understand how to make combos. She said, turn back. Uh, it's nice. I leveled up too. Do you plan on mix and matching out your icon abilities around? Yeah, because I mean, technically, we only have enough power to like maximize what we're kind of maining. That's why I have the AP and the EXP on, because I need more AP too. Because we do, so I only maxed, I maxed out most of the mains. He's kind of maxed a little. I don't ever use lightning or these guys really, which I probably should start using more often because they probably have more combos. Realistically, I'm most comfortable with Ifrit, Garuda, Shiva, and Odin. Bahamut's also pretty cool. I just need more powers. Ideally, we have to maximize all of them for the trophy, so... At this point, because, like, I think cool, too, like, now with our different icon sets, like, this one's pretty good max. This one, we need to max a Garuda a little bit more. Maybe some Titan. Bahamid. So, I guess we'll just keep maxing the ones we're maining that we have on our different setups. And then we can max out the other ones, like, this one. Let's see here. I don't ever use... Ramud, so we need to use him more often. And maybe we can put like the new. I'm going to switch to Leviathan once we get that too. So we're going to have to probably take. I'm probably going to take powers away from everybody else and put them all into Leviathan, honestly. So we'll have like probably only Shiva, Ifrit, and Leviathan maxed for right now. And then we'll move it around. Because if I don't like the way Leviathan works, then I'll just have to switch it. Oh. That's the only big downside to this, is that if you're not careful, you're going to end up on the wrong setup. A 
let's go. Like, we're almost gonna level up to 51 already. And that's why I put on the AP one too. That way we can get more AP points to level up our uh, icon powers more. The funny thing is players can beat any Final Fantasy game. It's just by smashing it since they're so accessible. I'm not sure why people claim this one's just... It's because people just like to hate on the newest game. That seems to be like, I feel like the most reoccurring thing with Final Fantasy is whatever the newest entry is people have a problem with it one way or the other no i still haven't mended the bridge and i never bloody will if people don't leave me to my work because kingdom hearts is the same way you can go through the whole game just by swinging the keyblade you don't have to use magic you don't have to use your accessories or your abilities like they i mean that's kind of the same thing with story mode like you can go through story mode and you just won't find slash everything. this way the sea lies behind us. Oh, okay, I see. I went down the wrong path. I want to kill everybody first. <laughs> oh, wrong one. Let's go. Oh, I got a lot out of that one. I feel like the more stuff we do the more um, points I get too. And that's the thing, like we can customize our different combos with all the different attacks that we have. The game is what you make out of it. You can play all of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth without using your ATB. You can just hit slash the whole time. You know, you don't have to maximize the moves. And even with Final Fantasy VII, to really get the good gameplay, you wanna set your um, hot bars. Good precision dodges on this one. There we go. I gotta get that precision dodge, get that precision counter. Yeah, that was a good one. He was, uh, he was getting me all right. People somehow don't recall that they were once unskilled kids and older games seem difficult. That's also very true too. Like, 
You know, it's like playing Final Fantasy VII as a child was stupid hard. Like, I didn't understand the turn base as well. I didn't understand the limit break. But now going back and playing the OG game, it's like, oh yeah, this is obvious. This is what you do. That's like why I like it playing Kingdom Hearts again over it too. It's like, that game used to be hard for me as a kid. Even if it is hack and slash, it's just like technically we're adults, most of us playing games. Like at least this one's rated M for mature, but like sometimes people are like, just kind of forget that. Like playing Mar Paper Mario, or not Paper Mario, uh, the Mario RPG, Super Mario, or this Mario RPG, the one that just came out. I had a game that was made for the Super Nintendo and I played that when I was a kid. Like, and I could never beat it because I was like four or five. Now that I'm in the 30s, yeah, obviously I was able to speed run through the game. There are some parts that were still a little challenging that were kind of cool, but like it's over time you just kind of get better at things the more you do it. It's kind of how skill comes into play, right? Ooh, is that my first Tomberry? Oh, yeah, there you go, you guys. The first one. Tom Mary Creeper. All right, everyone else has just been an offset. Tonberries. Foul creatures consume. Here we go. I think are kind of lame. Uh, that's good enough for me. My first Tomberry. Oh, and I can even go portrait mode <laughs> for the Tiki Talks. Oh. All right. And now I probably won't use photo mode again. Hatred for everyone and everything. Everything the same as sharp knives, it seems. Okay, took him out without him hurting me once. Oh man, we're fighting all at once, huh? Leveled up. Let's go. 51, son. Okay. So, baby Tom Barry is not so bad. Oh, I feel bad that I had to kill you, little guy. Did Tom Barry's always have tails? Do they always have tails? I feel bad looking. But, uh, I don't know. I don't remember ever seen <laughs> a uh, tail before. Let me know what do you guys think. I don't remember ever seen. <laughs> There's two different ways I can travel. Oh, it's a different face. Alright, baby Tom Berry's completed. 
what do the rest of them look like? but surely we'll get that ability points up. Keep going, and then when the path splits back, we'll loop around the other way. Gotta explore every nook and cranny. Oh, another magic dude! This is the spin. I'm looking for a treasure chest. That's what I'm trying to do. I don't know if there's one here or not, but I just have that feeling. My treasure chest senses are tingling. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I knew it. Video game logic. Beat something, end of a road, should be a box. Makes sense. <laughs> I don't have a guide up to uh, this time, I promise you. Like, I literally just, I was like, it would make sense for there to be a chest. I can smell the sea. It's not far now. Well, too bad we're going the other way, sister. I said, there's another path to look over. It won't be friendly. Can't forget that. <laughs> Like, I should probably get that one. And I don't have to keep, like, using the same stuff. If I, like, just upgrade something else, I could switch it over. I don't really like Titans, oh, as much. Like, I like Reduta's Claw. I like the Phoenix Shift. I like the Cold Snap. I feel like those three are the most useful for me. Block is kind of nice, but I don't know if I ever hit it as often as I should for it to make a difference. I don't really like Bahamut's one, though, or Odin's. Odin's is powerful, but I don't like it still. Yeah. As long as I finish them with an attack, too, I feel like I always get more points. 
Now, I didn't see a treasure chest on this way, but also it seems like out of the fork in the road, this was the lot easier road, so I don't blame them for not putting a chest here. Because I didn't have to fight that other monster. No, many of them. Okay, so Final Fantasy 13 Tom Berries did have tails, so it's not the first time. I didn't realize that they were like aquatic animals. I think most of the time, since their t their cloaks are so long, we didn't really know what was underneath there. Oh yeah, back, okay, back kind of towards where the fork is. All right, let's look at the ocean. Show me the ocean, baby. He said I could. Sm oh yeah, dude! Look at that pretty wave. Here we go. Transition time. How will we reach the surge? Oh, no. We'll follow the coastline north. There's a bridge that'll take us across to the Cape. I wanted them to do a little cinematic thing there, but okay. I'll make my own little cinematic thing. You don't think that's art. I don't know what is. They said they put every little detail into that wave over there. I feel bad killing these guys, but I just need the goods. Not much, but 19 is 19. So moving tree? No, on this one. See, like this grassland's pretty nice and open too. It's not like super linear. Yeah! Oh, it's not ready yet. Like, why is it not open? Might I inquire about the Ray of Light? It's what prevents the Surge from being reclaimed by the sea. And Walius by his people. So is the baby in the whale? In the wave? Or is the baby in the... Lookout hole? think we'll get up to level 60, but we can at least get to probably level 55. Wild chocobo. Oh, no, it's just more deer. Giant turtle. The lesser archons. Ooh, and a treasure chest. That's more important. Yeah, jump for joy, Clive. Ooh, ageless hornstone. And that's not a materia for uh, making things. All right, let's kill this guy first. <laughs>
right, turn by. Colonel Sue. me, I love my turtles. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? I said a turtle, turtle. Oops. Does not help Clive. Oh, there's another turtle. What's this way? Nothing yet. stood and took that. I was trying, I thought he was gonna come at me like that. There we go. Got him. Did. I got two copper coins out of that. Nice. Okay. That's everybody, guys. Let's go across the bridge. Ooh, a new Oculus. You said before that the child is bound within the surge. But you've yet to tell us how we're meant to reach him. I trust we won't have to hold our breath. No. The surge wraps around the cape without engulfing it. If we continue to its tip, there is a path down to the seabed. And the wave's origin. All right. It won't be the first dominant we've met at the bottom of the ocean. You know we like them turtles, Mike. That ooze. I think no matter what, the Ninja Turtle will always be my main from now on in Fortnite. Precision shot is from uh, the next character, right? Uh, from Leviathan. All right, the search. Uh, let me take a break, I guess, right now. It's like, I kind of want to go to the bathroom. And I don't know if I click on this as if we're going to cut to a jump scene. We've been going for a good two hours straight with no breaky break. So let me go ahead and take a break real quick here, you guys. Let me take a 10. 
Um, if you guys want, it's a good time for y'all to get up and take a stretch also, get a snack. I've been drinking most of coffee, but I do have my water bottle here. Let me take a bathroom break and stuff, and then we'll continue on. I will go in and throw up some of my YouTube videos though, so that way you guys can go ahead and enjoy some wonderful content still. We'll put on the uh, Final Fantasy 16 videos that I've done. Alright, perfect, perfect. Let's see here. Oh, my game. Arigato. We are back with more Final Fantasy 16 news. With the Rising Tide DLC only a few days away, so much more information and updates have been coming out, not only about the paid DLC, but also some really cool free updates as well. With so many new quality of life features added, let's go ahead and take a look inside the gaming show and see what we can find. First, let's talk about something that I'm not sure that was really videoized anywhere else, but a really cool extra added on bonus from buying both expansion passes. We are going to be able to be getting us a new weapon and two orchestra rolls that are from Final Fantasy 14, so it's really cool to see an in-game collaboration with 16 and 14 on the 16 side. First, let's go ahead and look at the reimagined weapon from the Warrior of Light from Final Fantasy 14, the Cortana Sword. This sword is from the Paladin, and I actually have it for one of my characters, so I'm really cool, excited to see Clive use it. We are also going to be getting Torn from the Heavens and Through the Maelstorm orchestra rolls to be played in the background at the hideaway. These songs are from when we fight Leviathan in Final Fantasy 14, so it's going to be cool to hear them in the game of Final Fantasy 16. I'm super excited y'all to have this new weapon. I guess we'll go ahead and use it as our main weapon when we go through the Rising Tide since it's going to be like how we had the Buster Sword the last time. We're even getting more orchestra rolls from the DLC so there's so much for us to look for you guys. I think they said they're going to be adding over 50 new orchestra rolls and I haven't even got all of them from the last DLC. I will be live streaming the DLC so if you guys would like to come and hang out and see how the DLC goes we will be doing that Thursday and Friday so please do come check us out. Next up let's go ahead and talk about the new story side quest the rising tide what the dlc is named after we are going to be going to joy and clive again as an unmarked letter arrives at the hideout giving us information about the dominant of leviathan the water icon needing our help with our party we will go ahead and travel to this new land of mysteria that has a blue sky with the people of a long forgotten history by going through the story we are going to be meeting us some new characters including a new ally shula best described as an earnest soldier that has a strong sense of duty and this has some kind of connection to the leviathan dominant as well i'm really excited to see what is going to happen with this new fight when we are fighting leviathan i know they said that we need to save the dominant but obviously because it is a big action scene we are going to need some battles so i'm really excited to see how that's going to go the devs said that they really wanted to make this the big ultimate end game battle to make it very cool for us and it's going to be a little challenging because we want to use all of the different skills that we've learned so far with ifrit in order to do this so i'm so excited to see how that goes we will even be gaining a new power after defeating leviathan having our serpent cry allow clive to summon the serpent using their ability to hit enemies from afar with precision hits now that clive has attained leviathan we will have all eight elements and i'm really excited to see what will happen if there's perhaps a secret final boss that we will be fighting or perhaps the image that we saw of clive if i correct remember the story with ultima was he wanted us to absorb all of the icons so that we could become the perfect vessel for him to possess and i remember this kind of looks kind of like the picture joshua to look at some of the background history so i'm really excited to see how they're going to connect all this lore together perhaps this picture of clive is his hundred percent form not only the main area where we're going to be going but we also have a new area in mysteria called the ire of hour that we can explore where we will find new enemies for us to fight such as the tomberries they will be having a new design for Final Fantasy 16. I'm really excited to see and go up against these new enemies, fighting them, and seeing what kind of abilities that they're going to have. I'm assuming that they wanted to make them bigger so that way they have a bigger hitbox because most of the enemies that Clive's fight are humanoid. And the original design that they had with the OG 
Death Reaper looking thing was really cool, but I do like the final design that they went with. So I'm so excited to fight these guys with Clive and Party. Next up, we have the final part of the DLC that is really going to be giving us the end game content for us to continue pushing through you guys. This new mode, Cryos Gate, looks super exciting. We're going to be doing like a dungeon crawl kind of unlocking enemies, unlocking floors and fighting waves and waves of enemies we're going to need to make sure that clive has fully leveled up having all the different upgrades that he possibly can and after certain levels we'll be getting even more cooler gear and powers for clive and at the very end there's even a more bonus bonus because there's a global leader board so we can go in and see how our points stack against the other warriors of light giving us a nice initiative to compete against each other but last but not least you guys we do get a lot of really cool final updates for the free update stuff even if you guys don't have the dlc there's some more quality of life stuff coming with the 1.30 update the thing that i think first is going to be cool is that we're getting the level increase of course from 55 to 60 on the normal mode as well as 110 final level for the final fantasy mode we're going to gain the ability to immediately go back to the quest giver after finishing a quest with a quick completion function i think this is going to be super helpful killing a lot of time i do need to still go through final fantasy mode and get that part done so i hope this will make it a little bit shorter time distance with the travel and everything going between stuff and they also even gave an update to the important character quest so you can differentiate which ones you should do in which order so that way you know which quests are more important i'm assuming something like the chocobo quest will have a better icon for that another really cool feature i think is going to be the skill set feature which gives us five different unique sets so we can go ahead and make different ability setups giving you the kind of different customization route whether you want to have three different icons with different setups and being able to switch in between those on the fly making it a lot easier speaking of customization what i am most excited for is we are finally after this final update getting the full customization controller type allowing us to put each action and command in any button layout that we want when we started the game we only had three different setups to our controller we added two more with our last update and finally with this one we gained the full capability of controlling it with our inputs I'm really excited to see the different kind of combos that everyone can do with the different buttons and i know i would like to maybe change a few things as well as mentioned before we're also getting all those new orchestra roles as well as a photo mode with the different tone correction screen effects so we can go ahead and take pictures of our beautiful characters in these new beautiful areas that's going to be the video for this time y'all i hope you guys enjoyed it i am so excited to be playing the rising tide dlc even more excited that the game is going to be getting even more complete than it already was i really do love final fantasy 16 and think it is a great final fantasy game it came out with the complete story upon release and this extra dlc has given us even more benefits and time with the beloved characters that we have and giving us new areas to explore so if you guys enjoyed the video please do watch this other one where i go over the final fantasy 16 and 14 event in the other yo what's going on how's everyone doing today anthony's gaming shell and i hope you guys are excited for some more fun final fantasy 14 news we're going to go ahead and talk about the path infernal a final fantasy 16 collaboration event in final fantasy 14. let's go ahead and talk about the event where you can go ahead to activate the quest what you get from it and much more let's go ahead and get into it the event is going to be taking place on tuesday april 2nd 2024 at 1 a.m pacific time to wednesday may 8th at 7:59. AM. We're going to be live streaming the event you guys here on the channel afterwards. So if you'd like to come by and join in on the fun, watch how the event goes, you know, real quick, shameless plug. <laughs> so please do subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for the notifications, see when we go live, you guys. The event will be taking place here in Oldo, my home city, starting here in the coordinates on the map at 8.8 .8 by 9.9, .9, pretty much in the front of the area. We're going to be looking for the Neophyte Adventurer to start the quest off. So here's a nice little picture of the NPC for y'all to go find. I feel like the rewards are going to be cool. You guys, we are going to get three different major things from this event as well as a bunch of new music scrolls first up let's go ahead and talk about the armor set the Mithian attire this is going to be a replica of Clyde's attire from Final Fantasy 16 our warrior of light is going to be able to wear this armor and be part of the first shields of the Rosaria and even going to be diable up next I think is the cutest part of the whole collection is where you're going to be getting us a Torkoal pup minion so that the puppy version of Clyde's faithful companion will be able to follow us along as well it's really going to be fun to see this little guy growing up next to us and watching him wag his little tail being the adorable little snow wolf that he is now the best part is going to be getting a mount as our third reward 
Sparkle, finally all grown up, will be letting us ride him throughout the region of Eorzea, as well as flying around. I think this is going to be really cool, since in Final Fantasy 16, we were able to pet Torkoal and use him in battle, and he pretty much just ran around with us. So, it's even more awesome, as I see there's going to be another goodie that will have a special emote for us to use while we're riding Torkoal, so I cannot wait to see that. We're also going to be getting a triple triad card for Clive as well as 10 new orchestras. As long as everything was working well with the copyright and stuff, I'll be playing some of the in-game music from Final Fantasy 16 in the background. So it's gonna be fun to see this music inside Final Fantasy 14. Final Fantasy 16 was amazing, you guys. The music was one of the things that I really thought stand out in the game as it went so well with the battles and everything. So I'm really excited to hear these orchestra roles. It seems, y'all, that in the quest, there's going to be a lot of different scenes that we'll be able to recognize from Ballastilia. So even if you haven't played Final Fantasy 16 though, you'll still be able to join the event as well. But there's going to be a little bit of extra for those who have played the game. So I'm really excited to see what's involved. I know it's probably going to have something to do with Clive and the Mother Crystals. And I know we get to fight Ifrit at the very end probably. So I'm really excited to see how all of that is going to tie up story-wise. Like I said, y'all, we do live stream the different stuff here on the channel. And I'll be live streaming the event. <laughs> all right you guys timers up we are back i don't know how long the stream's gonna be so we may or may not be able to cut these breaks out but that's why i like the timer and then if you guys like those videos please do go watch the main ones helps out the channel of course Not much further now. The path seems well kept. Do you and the villagers often come this way? Only me. Once every new moon without fail. It is my duty both as village elder and Walius's descendant. But surely no one blames you for what happened. Why should you bear the responsibility alone? You misunderstand. I do it because I want to. To show him that he isn't alone, and that there are still some of us who would see an end to his suffering. Suffering you will soon witness with your own eyes. The forest grows quickly here. Left unattended, the path would be reclaimed in a matter of moons. Does the light point the way to the child? It does indeed. Let's go, you guys. <coughs> Here comes the big wave Look scene. All the droplets of water suspended in midair. Where they have remained untouched by time for 80 summers. It's... It's not right. No. It's not. You can kind of see them. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my God, I'm so excited. There, up ahead. Down in the center. Follow me. <clears throat> Is 
still primed. I'll never forget my first priming. The fear. And I was old enough to understand what was happening. One can only imagine how this poor child felt. He is the victim of an unforgivable sin. Committed by people who saw him as nothing but a means to an end. He must be so frightened. Then I'll ease his burden. You don't mean... I'm not going to hurt him. Contrary to the tales, I don't go around killing dominance for no reason. What if I told you there was a way to remove Wallace's icon? I tell you, you were a madman. It's hard to believe, I know. But it can be done. Oh, it isn't without its risks. Part of the icon remains no matter what. So, it might still come to violence? I don't know. It depends on the dominant. I've seen things unwell, and I've seen things spiral out of control. But I do know one thing. If we turn our backs on this child, there will be no end to his suffering. And I think that a worse fate than the alternative. Don't you? Very well. Do what you must. And whatever happens, I will own the consequences. Don't be afraid, little one. Let me bear the weight. I think so. I can feel the icon inside me. But something's wrong. I was like, I hope I can switch this right away. I should have saved before we came here also. God, that was such a cool cutscene. <clears throat> For this, I want to make a like a video explaining what the story is and what happens. That way so you don't have to do all the gameplay. And I think that scene of him absorbing from the baby is gonna be the cut is the thumbnail picture. Like that's beautiful. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Leviathan's essence. Attuning with Leviathan not only changes the elemental aspects of Clyde magic, but also allows access access to several new icon abilities such as crosswell an incapable rush of water that pummels enemy from multiple enemies we have leviathan's feet <clears throat> serpent's cry can use summon clyde off arm a serpent sea spipin of daily precision strikes and enemies at a greater distance by pressing square will unleash a titan torrent Multiple bursts of water capable of knocking back smaller creatures by pressing triangle will fire a powerful jet called Tidal Stream. Ooh. 
Tidal gauge. Using these attacks will deplete your tidal gauge. Okay. Becoming unavailable while the gauge is empty. The gauge will slowly replenish over time, but can be quickly refilled by pressing and pushing O. Time for a second perfectly on the on screen prompt to immediately refill the gauge. Will earn unlimited ammunition for a short period of time. The gauge also replenish when using an extreme. Oh. While using Serpent Cry, pressing R1 again while dodging will cause Clive to roll in the air, extending further. <clears throat> okay. Oh, only the Biathan powers are available for this battle. Yes. To get the hang of that. I knew there was something different I could be doing here.
All right, let's go, dude. That was pretty cool. Good way to uh, teach you how to use their abilities, I think. I didn't realize there's the two different modes. So you can push O, take out your arm, and do shooting stuff. Hold it. Or I can hold triangle and do something right in front of me. But when I have my sword out, I like when I can bring them all together. I don't really like the shooty as much. So we'll see what the other abilities are. And let's uh, reorganize our points. But yeah, beautiful moment. Like all these cutscenes are so good. They spent so much time into making these cutscenes. And you can tell like this. Oh my God. Final Fantasy is just so beautiful. <clears throat> is everyone all right? He seems calmer now. You said Walius was frozen in time. But he knew we were here. How? I... I don't know. He's never reacted to anything or anyone. Until now. The child has been bound for nigh on a century. If he has been conscious from the first, we must remove the seal at once. It's not that simple. I wish it were, but... There's more to this tale. It would be better if I explained back at the village. I see. Then let's return before it gets dark. I'm sorry, Walius. I will make this right. Because she's the... They're related, technically, I think, right? <clears throat> so, part of Leviathan is inside you now, is it? Does it hurt? No. Not anymore, anyway. Good. Because I still have need of your strength. If you want to know the rest... We should head to the Witten Hall. Of course. All right. If this was Final Fantasy XIV, she would definitely fit in an Ishgard. All right. We got some stuff over here now. Let's go check out the new shops. We'll go there. Look, Dad. <clears throat> the trees, Do you think this is? I think it's funny the kids think I'm the leader because of my cape. things. All the fish right out of the baskets. Oh, no. Not the fishies. Not the fishies. All right, what you got? When you've decided what you want, just let me know. I don't have enough for this. Then I beat you. I thought there was new stuff. Oh, at the forger. Tied. Maybe I'll sell some stuff and I'll get that orchestra. Oh, now will you upgrade my things? What is it you want? I don't have one of these yet, do I? Oh, this is the new Leviathan sword, isn't it? I figured we'd get a new purple one. All right. I'd like to see another smith do better. No, because it's weaker. Surge did the tide, the water raising as if it were one of a mighty whale standing upon its shore. I kinda... Oh, okay. Then he can reinforce it, right? Oh, did those not get reinforced? <clears throat> I'd have to go back to the hideaway to do the uh, glamour, don't I? Till next time, then. It seems. Is this the only shop in the new part? Because if that's the case, and there's only one orchestra roll, I guess this, I'll just buy this one. This is all we have. Um, no. 
Who's better, this guy or Blackthorn? Blackhorn doesn't complain. I'll be here. I mean, Blackhorn, yeah, this guy doesn't this, complain like he does. <laughs> this is all we have. <clears throat> but they're a little more... Oh, dude, I'm like 2,000 short. A little more bland, I would say. 2,000 short. 2,000 short. Fool's gold. She's in crafting. I don't want to sell that. <coughs> crafting. Those are all my crafting stuff. So the only other stuff I could sell is like these guys. Oh, I have 268 of these. I can probably afford to sell some. What do I need to get to to get to 2,000? I don't want to sell all of them. I just want to get to 2,000 gil. We'll say 2,500 to be safe. We can use that. May it serve you well. I'll be here. I hope so, man, because I just spent all my money. Ooh, that was a good pop. I don't think Blackthorn can do anything else, right? Oh, that boss I just beat is probably over there now in arcade mode. All right, let's check out the new song. There's two more songs from the DLC, I guess. That's just the song we're listening to in that city, I guess, huh? Look how many orchestra rolls I'm missing now. What makes me mad is this one. Where is this one? <clears throat> if these are all new ones that I have to buy, I'm okay with that. But for some reason, I'm missing that one that's up there and that bothers me. I don't think I'm gonna change the sword. I think we're just gonna rock this one the whole time. But let's check it out. Because we never rocked the Omega weapon either. But I don't think I was able to come back and forth as easy as I was here. Tide strike. Yeah, see, that's kind of cool, though. It's long and slender, just like the Leviathan is. <laughs> I like the color, too. Nice sword. Here, let me go out here a little more so more people can see it, maybe. There we go, the light. Which do you prefer, Lightning? Do you like the Burning Black or do you like the Normal? Oh, I guess that Fallen is kind of cool too. Buster Sword, still rocking the Cortana. I didn't really like the way the Onion Sword looked. I guess this is Clive's uh, main sword, right? Then we have all of the icon swords to match each of the element. Technically, since I'm fire, the flame tug matches the most. The Masa Mune, which was cool, but also kind of like not as, like doesn't look as cool, I feel like, on Clyde's back. Lord Broadsword, yeah. Intipus is technically his uh default. Maybe the realm 
it's just the stuff that we're doing here. Okay. Now we got one song. We got the new weapon. Let's go ahead and save. We haven't saved in a while. I don't know if there's a limit on save files, but I've just been rocking the save files here. I like the original outfits the most. They're the default outfits we see in most of the promotional materials. Same goes for Clyde's weapon. Yeah. I like this one. It's not too bad. I think for final... I've been rocking these since the DLCs came out. I definitely like Jill's uh, main outfit the most. When I play through uh, Final Fantasy mode, I'll probably rock all the uh, main weapon stuff, though. If we pick too many of them. Rock his old outfits and stuff. I'll stream when I play the whole Final Fantasy mode, too. The game's so much more different now. <clears throat> Plus, I need to beat the hard mode on all this stuff. When that will occur, I'm not sure, because there's so much other stuff we have to do still, but it will. It's on the list of to-do. We gotta beat this hard mode. We gotta beat rebirth hard mode. To understand the spell which binds Walius, you must first know who we are. And what drove my forebears to commit such an atrocity? Ooh, the tapestry. This tapestry is our story, the one that brought us here. After generations of wandering, my people sought refuge in Northeastern Storm some 170 years ago. But in exchange for our safety, the Gregorian Church demanded we renounce our faith and branded us heretics when we could not. To be exterminated as a lesson to others. And so was it chronicled in the Imperial histories, for anything less would have made the church seem weak. Yet a handful survived. The few who did fled north and west, and in doing so discovered two things that would forever shape our fates. The first was an old legend revealing how to make your very own mother crystal. I've heard that one before. Yes, yet it gave them new hope, however false. Our ancestors convinced themselves that they could recreate the divine if they could only find a strong enough heart. A living being capable of channeling torrents of ether and the heavens provided. A dominant warriors. Oh, yes. They'd stumbled across a nostrum in an ancient ruin, which they believed could provoke a sudden outpouring of a creature's ether. They meant to enrage his icon. Leviathan would have destroyed everything had our people not made their second important discovery. A means to stop time itself. Where did they find that? The Northerners had no such magic, so they would have used them. When our ancestors first arrived, the land was uninhabited, save for an old witch who lived on the highest peak. Her body had been consumed by the curse, a cruel payment for her long years of service to the Northern Thanes. So desperate were they to prevent the fall of Drake's eye, They'd forced her to devise a spell to stop time. But Drake's eye did fall. It did. When she finally perfected the necessary magics, it was already too late. As punishment for her failure, the Thanes exiled her to this forsaken place to live out the few days she had left. Knowing her suffering, our ancestors cared for her as best they could, and in return, she gifted them her spell, that even though she should die, her legacy might live on. So armed with both the knowledge of the ancients and the secrets of time, our ancestors settled upon an ambitious plan. They would create a new Mother Crystal and enchant it that it might endure for all eternity. Thus would our people's wandering, our suffering, finally end, and prosperity visit us once more. 
And all it would require was the sacrifice of a single child. A small price to pay, or so they believed. Another victim of man's blind reliance on the Mother Crystals. So we know the seal source. How do we break it and restore the flow of time? Do you recall the Dome of Light on top of the cliffs to the west? Inside lie the ruins of an old temple. It was there that the witch built the Vare, a conduit of sorts that channels her remaining ether into the surge. But it's been a long time since anyone set foot in the place. And now, there are others who claim it as their own. Then we shall go prepared for a fight. That said, it may be best if one of us stays behind. You think the village could be in danger? We saw the ether flow from Walius in all directions, but only encountered a single familiar. There will be more. And should even one make its way here, I doubt the walls could hold it back for long. Then I shall stay. The Phoenix will see your people safe, Tributary. You have my thanks. Very well. We should depart at once. I fear time may no longer be a luxury we can afford. All the right. Vare is not easy to find. We must first head north, and then west, deeper into the forest. But there's a side quest, my lady. Oh shoot, there's a lot of side quests. Four side quests. Um, two important side quests though, because you can tell the difference now. I like that. I feel like the cross is a pretty good uh, reference to see which one's more important. Oh no. I can't. Just try to breathe. That's it. Is everything all right? Ah, you're the outsider. I'm Fanit, healer by trade. And this is Talor, one of my patients. He took ill not long after you arrived. Nothing too serious, I hope. I hope so too, but... But? This affliction, it's like nothing I've ever seen before. He complains of feeling chilled to the bone, but there's no fever to go with it. And my most powerful Antalgic hasn't done a thing to ease the pain in his chest. I'm starting to wonder if his condition might require a different kind of treatment altogether. Shula said that you were here to help us. You couldn't help me, could you? I'd be happy to, if I can. You can, don't worry. All I need you to do is speak to Talor's son, Pavat, <coughs> over at the forge, and ask if he knows what his father was up to before he came down sick. Something must have caused this, and I want to find out what. The trouble is, Talor's too weak to speak, and I can't leave his side for long. So while you talk to Pavat, I'll pay his wife word a quick visit, just in case she knows anything. All right. What ailed you? Leave me be. Let me go. Let me go. This dude is hurting. Oh, that's a different quest. I guess we can just do one at a time. Oh, that was simple. Oh, uh, do you need something? I do, though not from the forge. Fanit asked me to speak with you. She's looking into the cause of your father's illness and wondered if you could shed any light on the matter. I see. Sorry. She shouldn't have dragged you into this. It's no trouble, really. Tell me, did your father do anything out of the ordinary before he fell ill? Not that I know of. But then I hardly see him. He's always out and about, like. Well, at least he was. 
Suppose he might have been a bit more fidgety than usual, but apart from that. When you say out and about, where does he usually go? Just round the village. Wanders over to Blazia's place most days. He's a fisher who lives on the other side of the fount. They're old friends. Maybe he knows something I don't. Maybe. I'll go and speak with him. Okay. To the fisherman we must go, y'all. Oh no, there's water in my way. My greatest weakness, water. I think I like Clyde's outfit like this one because I like the oh, I like the fire on his suit that it moves. Keeps my keeps me engaged. What do you think of the Cortana sword? I'm a fan of it because I play 14 and I'm a paladin main. Or do you think it sticks out too much? Greetings, stranger. What can I do for you? Your name is Blazir, is it not? Pavard tells me you're a friend of his father's, and that the two of you may have spent some time together prior to his illness. His illness? Talos never been ill a day in his life. I don't know why he'd start now. Oh, Fennet doesn't know either. It was she who asked me to look into his recent behavior on the off chance it might explain how his condition arose. Oh, uh, uh, suppose there was something that struck me as a bit odd. He kept asking about the woods. Did you see anything strange on your way back from the shore? Are you certain? Do you swear? That kind of thing. I didn't, of course. But he wouldn't let it go. It was like he was expecting something to happen. It was just a matter of when. Not that I know what, but he never told me anyway. Well, that certainly does sound unusual. And it might just be what Fanet is looking for. Thank you. I don't mention it. Oh, and when you say to law, uh, wish him the best from me, eh? Let's see what the healer makes of this. All right. Back to the fishnet. <clears throat> I guess we could have just steamrolled through the entire story, but I felt like the side well, quests are part real. of the story. And that's the thing, like... When it comes to all the YouTube stuff, ideally, the, the live streams are here as my Let's Plays. And then I'll make the videos. Because like, a couple of the videos have been doing pretty well. Healer, tell me. I spoke with Word, but she couldn't tell me anything. Did you have any better luck? Nothing conclusive. But there was one thing. Blazir, the fisherman told me that Talor had taken a sudden interest in the forest of late. He kept asking him if he'd seen anything unusual there on his way back from the coast, but never let on what exactly he was expecting him to have seen. The forest between here and the coast? Surely not. But then... But then... I can't say for sure. But I think Talor's illness might have some connection to the Tombreys. You may have encountered them during your time here. The small, scaly beastmen. And you think they may have caused Talor's illness? I do. At least in a way. And if I'm right, it's no wonder the treatments I've been trying didn't work. Oh, no, it's a lot to ask. But would you go down into Father's Fell for me? There's an altar there. And if my fears are true and offering upon it... What is going on here? Please, I'll explain everything when you return, but time flows fast. I beg you, make haste for Father's Fell and take the offering from the altar. Talor's life may depend on it. Very well. Oh yeah, bro, let's go. I This is the Tomberry quest, you guys. Uh, if I go there any further, is it gonna make me? No, I... Oh, can I teleport here? 
It's a long way, but sure. I don't want to invoke the main story at all. I have no chocobo either. Oh, the main story is over there, not over there. Okay. Then this way will be faster. Never mind. Save real quick, I guess. I wonder if I should just pick up the other quest oh, since I'm really here. No, we'll finish this one first, then we'll keep going. Alright, took my allergy medicine and put the spray up my nose. There's nothing else I can do, but I feel like I got to sneeze still. Busted things! I wonder if I'll be able to kill the King Tomberry the first time. Oh, I never but yeah, I know what you mean. My sword does stick out quite a bit. Hail stranger. It doesn't fit aesthetically. Or, like... I feel like proportionally. That's why for like the Final Fantasy mode, we'll just like you said, we'll rock all the the cannon Before gear. We turned east at the shipwrecks to reach the coast. Now we must head in the opposite direction. Left it is then. You said to the left, to the left. Okay, it's this way. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. If there's one thing I know about beastmen, is that they love to hide in the dark. Finally, it's complete. I, I they said maybe a second icon power, but it better come somewhere else because my circle is finally fit. Don't ruin my circles. All right, so we have Serpent Cry. I guess that'll make those attacks stronger. We have Crosswell. I like Crosswell. Creates twin waves that rush inwards. That's a good AoE attack. I don't like that one as much. We could switch it, though. Ripe, rip open and swell, expanding gateway to murky depths. And when timing is right, summon forth an storm. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if I've ever noticed this before. We'll knock down smaller enemies, bring flying targets to the upgrade spell. That's different. Let me try that one. But this is what I really want. We always want the final attack. Conjure a whirling wave of titanic proportion to swallow up and spit out all the enemies. All right, so one potato, two potato. Oop, not enough. All right, you guys, somebody, I'm sorry, is gonna have to suffer. Where are my points at? Kind of keep those. Oh, yeah, here we go. Just undo Odin for right now. Definitely gonna do that one. This one up. I like that we're able to move our points around, that is very nice. I don't want to learn this one. The pew pews just don't really do it for me. So now let's make a new setup with Phoenix. And I like my heat wave and I like my flames of rebirth. 
Let's go with Shiva, because I like bringing them in with Memorize. I like Diamond Dust. And then our new dominant of Leviathan. Let's give hit this one, the Tsunami. And then this one we'll try, we'll just be using Crosswell, I guess. Because that one I like the most. This one I kind of want to try it though. So maybe we'll try Tear here. And instead of Memorize, we'll, we'll use uh, the other one. Remember, you can create presets. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I like now that we can kind of switch back and forth. Like, so we have most of Leviathan attacks here. I kind of want to keep Diamond Dust. So now I can use the Crosswell. I'm going to try Abyssal Tier. I don't really like the other attacks, so we'll keep these here. So we have all of those. I still like Cold Snap, Phoenix Shift. We'll try Serpent Cry to master it more. Yeah, it's weaker than Omega 2. So, so far my Omega is still the strongest sword. Abilities, go, yeah, XP. All right. Go, Tomberries. Oh, these are different Tomberries, aren't they? What are they up to? Some sort of ritual. Sorry to disturb you. I think they did such a good job with these Tomberries. Son. Oh yeah. I like that. Oh, and we got money finally. Okay. Lame spoils, but whatever. Let's see what's on this altar then. Okay. We save again. I felt like we did pretty good in that fight. I do like Leviathan. There's uh his wave thing is top tier. I need to do better with this one. Dodge will make it better, and I gotta make sure I push the button at the right time, I guess. Oh, excuse me. A silver chain. I doubt the Tombrys made it. This must be what Fennet was talking about. Because he didn't have silence equipped. Oh, yeah, cool. Boom, baby. Fast travel. That I like so much. You're back. Well, did you find anything? 
Yeah, the Bahamut idea. That's good. I didn't even think of that. That's what I mean. Like, everyone can make so many different combinations. It's going to be so cool to see. And now, especially with the customization for our buttons, they still didn't see anything about the PC release, but I feel like it's getting closer with all these customizations. A string of filing wound links finally upon an altar in Tomberry territory. Exactly. Mysteria healer suspect. LSC combined work. Does this have silence on it? This speaks the head of a dragon, suggesting it's not the work of the beastmen. I did. This silver chain. I knew it. Well, I'm still none the wiser. Forgive me. This chain. It's a Gregorian Matanoster. Worn by men of the faith. What's it doing here? And why would the Tombrys be praying to it? To understand that, you need to understand what the Tombrys are. They feed on hatred and suffering. And some say that if you render them an offering, some token of grievance against your fellow man, they will put a curse upon him. So you think someone's put a Tombry curse on Talor? I... I can't say for sure. Truth be told, I always assumed it was an old wives' tale. But given his fear of the forest and the presence of the chain on the altar, I don't know what else to think. Does Talor have any enemies in the village? Anyone who would nurse such a grudge? No. No, I believe the one who left the chain at the altar was Talor himself. I beg your pardon? But there's more to the tale, you see. It's said that if you attempt to curse a soul that has returned to the sea already, your ire has nowhere to go but back to its source. You're saying he cursed himself? In trying to curse another, I. When my father was younger, he was one of the few permitted to venture beyond the wall on trading expeditions. He told us that when he journeyed to Sandbreck, he'd wear that chain to disguise his true beliefs, lest Grieger's faithful turn their cudgels on him. Did they ever catch him in his deception? Might that explain the ill will he bears someone? Not that he ever told me. Come now. Let's not waste time speculating about Talor's past. We need to focus on the present, and that means finding a way to break the curse. All right. If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Thank you. I shall. Aye, and thanks for going to all this trouble. Here, it's not much, but... I want you to have this. We call it an adder stone. It's a gatherer's charm. Reacts to certain rare minerals we use in crafting. Makes them ring out like a bell. Stuff you'd have no chance of spotting otherwise. If you find anything, see that you bring it back to me. I can make you some decent gear with it. If you're interested, like. I am, thank you. And I'll be sure to pay you a visit. Until then, I wish your father a swift recovery. No? Just me? Okay. Nice. No, got a curiosity. And Adler Stone. Two curiosities. No money, but we got some EXP. Ooh, Serpent Ring. That's what we want to see. Does it give me silence? Serpent rings. You obtained the design draft for serpent rings. Accessories that, when equipped, enhance Leviathan's iconic abilities. To craft these weapons, speak with Brackthorn in the Hideaway or Papith in Heaven's Foundry and select the craft option. Several materials only found, such as aquarium. Adder stone. You have detained an adder stone carved from Aquarian. Adder. Aquamarian. Adder stones will resonate both audibly and visually with other nearby stones of precious gemstones, making them invaluable in gathering the rate of crafting materials. Your controller will also vibrate when proximity. Aquamarian is hidden throughout Mysteria, so be sure to check every other corner of the region. Please note that the aquarium locations are action-focused and in story mode. Oh, they are different locations. 
I see. Make me Reckon something. Reckon my steel's just as good as any. Oh, I can make a torberry knife. Let's go. Makes my stagger up, but my sword weakness is down. Bro, I want this. Some say that it is not within the flames of a forge, but the flames of a tonberry rage that his knife is tempered. And while this shaky suppression will at best enlighten a roll of the eyes of a respectable blacksmith, the truth of the matter is there exists no no known observation of a Tomberry's knife creation, leaving us the freedom to believe what we will under a better explanation. Some, or such as say, magic runes come along. So I probably have to kill more monsters for those. I need one more Arclium and one more Fool's Gold. I'm happy I didn't sell the Fool's Gold. Okay. Dude, we making us a Tomberry knife. That's funny, though. So for the serpents, instead of us finding them, they want us to craft them. And I don't have any aquarium, and I have to find it in the wild. Okay. So I need to find two of those, four of those, and I have the requirements for this. Okay, I have the requirements for all of them. I just need two, four, six. I still need that one. Eight. So this one probably is coming from another boss that we're going to fight later. Um, I don't ever wear these. So they're not that big a deal. I'll keep, um, I shall make them because we have to make one of everything. I don't have this actually, but that's fine. Those don't matter. Um, but yeah. Okay. Game on. It's your game on. All right, that was a good quest. It gave us uh, new stuff, so it's important to do that one. Very, very important to do that one. Let's go and see what Busted the things. other important quest is, and then from there we can do the smaller oh, side quests. I never should have let him go alone. Hail, stranger. Are you a rider by any chance? I am. What gave me away? Oh, I can smell it on you. The scent of the stables. And not just any stables. Something tells me you've never been one to ride half-starved birds with chine gall and wet beak. If I had a guess, I'd say your bird eats only the finest greens and has her feathers groomed twice a day with a curl hairbrush. <laughs> Nothing but the best for my ambrosia. Ambrosia, eh? Pretty name. What's she like? Well, she's tall and strong. And her feathers are as white as snow. You're joking. You've got a white chocobo. I have, yes. I suppose they are rather rare. This I've got to see. Can you bring her here? I would if I could. Oh, yes, yeah. so this is how we get chocobo power. See, this is an important quest, you guys. I would if I could, but I doubt Shula's skiff could hold her. Me dad's got a boat, and he's very chocobos before. You could get him to bring her. It'd be perfect timing and all. He's preparing for a trip beyond the wall as we speak. I'm sure he'd help you if you asked. He would. Well... I don't suppose it would hurt to have Ambrosia around. All right, then. Where could I find your father? He'll be in the storehouse on the other side of the brook. Tell him Manda sent you. All right, let's go. You know we got to get Ambrosia out. I would assume the Leviathan is going to be the I very last battle. Oh, it's almost one. Okay. My tummy's a grumbling. Let's finish this quest. I might take a short break to grab some food and then. You're one of the outsiders, then. Continue. I am. Shula invited me. Excuse me. Are you Manda's father? I am. <laughs> Got you running errands for her already, has she? She's asked to see my chocobo, 
but I'd need your help and your boat to bring her here. <sighs> or you could just say no. Honestly, that girl and her birds, she'll be growing feathers soon enough. But truth be told, I didn't take the idea seriously at first. But thinking about it, it would make it easier to get around if I had Ambrosia here. Can you help? Well, if you're sure that's what you want. The tributary says where to treat you lot as we would each other. So if you need me to ferry your bird over, then that's what I'll do. Still, they don't take the water easily. I'll need you to bring us a mimic gourd or two to keep her calm on the journey over. And uh, where would I find one of those? Oh, don't ask me. It's been years since I last brought a chocobo across the bay, and I'm told the world's changed a fair bit since then. Where do you usually get your stable supplies from? Well, the man who made Ambrosius tack lived in Martha's Rest, and if I remember correctly, he traded in chocobo feed too. So I suppose I'll go and ask him. I'll be sailing over to Northreach soon to pick up some supplies. While I do that, you collect your bird and your gourd, and then meet me by the shore. Just don't take too long, all right? I'll try not to. I was like, I think I gotta go back to OG area. Martha's rest it is. I said Martha's rest. We've got a few rooms going spare night. You want a bed for Back the to the guy who gave us the first Chocobo quest. I remember you. You're the one who saved Whiteheart. How's the old girl doing? She's very well. Thank you. Oh, don't thank me. You're the one who saved her. Anyway, Ma brings you to the rest today. I was hoping to purchase a Mimit Gourd. And I thought you might be able to tell me where I could find one. Oh, reckon I could do better than that. Just so happens, I've got a whole carload of the blasted things. Not a buyer in sight. Really? Aye, you'd be doing me a favor taking a few off my hands before they turn to mush. But just be on the lookout for wild birds, eh? Don't want them chasing after you like they did me. <laughs> I will. And thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Any friend of Whiteheart is a friend of mine. And in times like these, friends have got to stick together. We certainly do. Northridge, then. Wouldn't want to keep Ender's father waiting. It's not too bad. Over here. The garrison said they take another hundred. Is it the guy? Like I know there's an entrance over here. Let's go, let's go. Run faster. Okay. I got the goods. Oh, I'm brush to make this easier. Faster. Jump. What's up, mister? I brought my chocolate. Straight home now. 
Ah, there you are. And this must be Ambrosia, was it? Oh, she's a real beauty, isn't she? I have the mimic or two. Here. Oh, uh, okay. It's like a pumpkin. Originally native to Ash, early traders between the Twelve Realms saw the right orange vegetable quickly spread across the storm throughout the unlike in Waylord, where it can be found a variety of culinary creations from pies to soups. West of Artha, the Minith grower used almost solely limited to chocobo fodder, as found in the indicate calming effect in ill-tempered birds. Thank you kindly. Soon as she's gobbled this up, we'll set sail. We're going to take a little trip across the bay now, Ambrosia. Don't worry. You'll be all right. Well, we made it. You did and all? <laughs> she is as white as snow. You're beautiful, aren't you, girl? Brave, too. She was calm as you like on the journey over. The mimic gourd will have played its part, of course, but passing through the walls is enough to spook most birds even then. Not this one, though. Ambrosia's been through a lot. I doubt there's much that could unnerve her now. Not with a beloved master by her side. No. It's you who looks after me, isn't it, girl? Anyway, thanks for bringing her here. I hope I can breed a bird like her someday. And if you and Ambrosia need ferrying back to Northreach, you only need say the word. Thank you. But I think we might explore Mysidia together. What do you say, Ambrosia? Yeah. I do like the blue sky a lot better. I don't think we're gonna have to go to the mainland much anymore anyways. Cause even if we do wanna like just grind, we have to do every we have to do it all here. The higher level enemies. But yeah, I can see how those two are the most important side quests. We have two other smaller side quests oh, to do. I never should have let him go alone. I take me, what am I gonna do? You, you've got to help me. Shula said you were a force to be reckoned with, are you? Uh, why do you ask? Hey, oh, sorry, I should explain. My name's Kitav. I'm worried about a friend of mine. He went into the forest and he hasn't come back. Would you help me find him? I can try. Tell me what I need to know. Of course. Uh, you know about the glamour our ancestors cast to keep this place hidden, right? Shula told us about it, yes. Right. So you know the cans we use to maintain the spell? Well, it's me and my friend's job to maintain them. If it weren't for the likes of us, it would have faded years ago. So your friend went into the forest to visit one of these cans? Aye, that's right. He said he was going down to Father's Fell. There are two cairns out that way, one by the banks of the Swift Run, and another near the Winged Wains, the, uh, ships in the forest. All right. How will I know this friend of yours? His name's Nasef. He's about my height, but clean-shaven. If you could track him down and see that he's come to no harm, I'd be much obliged. I'll search the village, just in case anyone's seen him, and meet you back here. Very well. All right. Did you see the girl, giant bird in the One last the the show? They look Another like the stuff there. That's what I they thought too. Moving. In the live action on the Netflix, I was like, they kind of look like Chocobos. Let's see here. I'm gonna have 
to possibly do story stuff to go that way. I guess let's just pick up both quests then. And then we'll go that way. I suspect two dominants can handle whatever it is that awaits you atop that peak. And if not, there's always Lady Shula's battle axe. Because, I mean, if the story's not that long, that's fine. We might beat it. Are we like halfway through it, Lightning, or three fours? Lord, may I speak with you a moment? I do like that they put the side quest at a nice intermediate point. There is a matter with which I would beg your aid. Of course, what is it? Please, not so loud. Something serious then? Yes. I think we might have company. I was passing by the low gate when I saw a figure moving among the trees upon the cloak. At first I thought it must have been you or your brother, so I didn't say anything, but... But the more I think about it, the more certain I am that the figure looked... familiar. And you're sure it wasn't one of the other villagers? Positive. I think it was someone from outside the wall who has found his way inside. Of course, it could just be my imagination playing tricks on me. I only caught a fleeting glimpse, and it might have been you or your brother. But if it is who I think it is, we cannot allow him to leave now that he knows we're here. Would you go and see? Oh, he won't try to hurt you, believe me. Given what lurks in the forest, the only one likely to get hurt is him. Very well. Whether the man you saw is who you believe him to be or not, we need to know. It may yet be someone else entirely. Someone who means your people, or my people, harm. Perhaps. Just promise me that if you do find someone up there... Don't worry. I won't draw my sword unless I need to. Thank you. Yamila, this man you saw, might he be the customer you told me of? I fear so. The customer? I'll explain later. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh, halfway point side quest to extend the playtime. DLC stories not long. Gameplay is though. That's kind of what I figured. I don't mind doing all this first. Okay, cool. We can go that way. Go do this one right now then. Yeah. No sign of the child. So I might be able to do everything within the six hour stream time. If not, maybe we'll just go a little further to finish it, or maybe we'll get to all the way at the almost end and we'll just save the rest for tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. With everything all together, how long do you think it will take? Because after we beat the side quests and the story, I mean, the cryo skate is not as important, I feel like. We can definitely say that for tomorrow. The bottle. Breath of the Arbor. Perfume from Sambrag. Looks expensive, too. Who's there? Stop! At last, why must they always run? About seven hours. Oh, that's not that bad. No. No. Then we'll just do a really long string with the brakes and stide then probably. 
Today's my day off, so we have plenty of time. Don't eat me! I'll give you gut rot, I swear! Stand back. Oh, nice. I'll handle this. I forgot there was probably trophies for this, huh? I was like, oh no, what happened? Nice. Oh, at least we got some money from this fight too. Are you all right? I'm more than all right. I'm saved. Oh, I could kiss you. Maybe you should introduce yourself first. Hervey. I knew it was you. What are you doing here? I came to see you. Oh, my little canary, it's been so long. Thank you for saving him and sparing him. Who is he? Hervey, one of many clients from my employment beyond the wall. One of many clients? We spoke every night of our plans together, whispered songs of love into each other's ears. And then you upped and vanished without so much as a word. I left you a note, didn't I? I told you I was sorry, but that we could never be together, that I could never abandon my family. And I told you not to look for me. <sighs> How did you even find this place, anyway? The flame of your love was as a beacon in the night that guided me to you. Hervey. Uh, I was walking by the coast near Northreach when I saw a lady who looked like you. Eyes like the ocean. Hair like the driven snow. The next moment, she and her companions were jumping in a skiff and sailing out towards the wave. So I, uh, borrowed the nearest boat and started rowing. It must have been Shula bringing us here. So what? You rowed, found a nose how many leagues across the bay, simply because you saw a woman with white hair. And as I did, the skies changed from a dull and hopeless grey to a bright and benevolent blue. That was when I knew for certain that my little canary was close. Oh, why did you come? You should have forgotten me as I tried to forget you. I cannot leave my people, Hervey. And now that you know about this place, Neither can you. We must return to Haven and accept my family's judgment. I'm to meet your family. Oh, my little canary. <sighs> Please, come and see me later. You did as I asked and you must be rewarded for it. But first, Follow me, Hervey. Ah, to the end of the world and beyond. This dude has no idea what's going on, does he? You should never have found this place. How could I be so careless? Don't blame yourself. I doubt anything could have kept that man away. All right. Forgive me.
There's nothing to forgive. You two met at the Vale, I take it. When I worked there, yes. To earn the coin that my people need to survive. Though Mysidia is our sanctuary, there are certain necessities that it cannot provide. And for that reason, some of us seek employment beyond the wall. Yet few are the opportunities for followers of a strange faith in a strange land. And so you supported your family as best you could? I did. And I have never regretted it for a moment. I found a second family in the Vale. And in the Dame, a second mother. I also found Hervey. But our love could never be. I knew that if I revealed my secret to him, I would be putting my people in danger. But that if I did not, I would be living a lie, unable to return home. What will happen to him now? Since our people settled in Mesidia, uninvited visitors have been few and far between, but not unknown. Explorers, survivors of shipwrecks, none lasted long. I see. That was before my time, you understand. I've never had to make a decision like this before. Yamila. Nor that I do not blame you for any of this. It was me who decided to make the trip to shore. Me who exposed our secret. This was my mistake, and I shall bear the responsibility. Thank you, Tributary. I only hope, I only beg you to remember that Hervé means us no ill will. He's just a fool. A fool who loves me. I will take that into consideration. But yours is not the only voice I must listen to. The whole family must be consulted. And it may take time for me to arrive at my decision. I hope you understand. Of course, Tributary. However long it takes. Come what may, I thank you, my lord, for bringing us back together. All right. Oh, that's the material I needed for the last thingy. Ew. All right. Yeah. And then I can just eat because some of these cutscenes are long. Not that that's a bad thing, but I can just munch on my food while I do that. So let me go ahead and let me take a little break. Let me go ahead and go warm up some food. That way I can be energized so we can continue on. This video only has a minute and a half left, so. Yo, what's good? Here, you guys can watch the benchmark one. Because I won't even be gone that long. Huh, how many other Final Fantasy 16 videos did I make other than just... Are all my 16 videos mostly just me reacting to things? Let's see. I want to do not as much reaction videos and make more like actual videos. Unboxings too. Those are easy, I feel like. Let me go ahead and do this one. See them in Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail Benchmark and trailer has come out, y'all. Let's go ahead and do a reaction and look at the trailer and see all the cool stuff that's going to be coming out April 14th. But without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer. All right, here we go, you guys. Let's watch the benchmark. I'm so excited. This is going to be able for us to see what we look like and make sure your computer runs well. So this is going to be coming out fairly soon, you guys, within pretty much my view watching the video. It's already out coming out tomorrow so i'm so excited our warrior light graphics are looking pretty cool i think he looks pretty nice there that will be our character there in not too too long from now so excited to see my bun boy dressed up as a viper on the ship to the new world you guys let's go ahead and take a look at this dawn trail trailer oh my gosh i'm so excited we only have a few months away into our summer vacation you guys i'm gonna take a look at this 
really cool to see him dressed up in the viper outfits we have a nice map i mean this is looking pretty decent now that i see it like on my monitor i mean because i was kind of watching a little bit last night on tv when i got home from work and i was like oh i don't want to spoil it so let's watch it here together but i mean like look at that those fishes look good that water that grass oh, i'm so excited it's gonna be like almost playing a new game it seems like i don't know if it's just for the graphics for this trailer but this is looking pretty clean look at him drink out of his little thing well did you hear that monster i know they did oh yeah this is so cool you guys he's taking off onto the next adventure let's go oh yeah here he is fighting the marble <clears throat> oh and there's another monster it looks like there's a few different characters here fighting so it's kind of like the end walker benchmark they have the fight scene showing off the main character here he is running around with the chocobo into battle oh straight jumped off that cliff oh look at there they're doing like a bait he comes in slashes look at the paladin <clears throat> i feel like maybe some of these moves are going to be the new attacks i don't remember what every animation looks like comment down below you guys what you think let me know are these new abilities that we're seeing right here oh dude that looks so clean how he puts his two swords together slashes and then just comes down like it was nothing just defeated him oh yeah here we go here's the land of hands i need to start crafting you guys which do you think is the best crafting to start with this is going to be our new alliance tribe see them in action here oh look at crow with our lion queen oh look at the bun girl in the back oh she found a relic she said this is where we must go he says oh you found the secret temple oh this is the way right here and you said oh really the road to el dorato you say this is where we must go thank you lad onwards bye and you say let's go roll out autobots we got our party settled we got everyone on their mounts i'm surprised they just have us on the chocobo mount but that's pretty cool oh look at the alligator one i don't have that dude it looks really cool i'm so excited oh look at the mountain this new world looks great Ooh, is this one of the ruins nice i'm so excited because i have a new pc the only thing i'm concerned about maybe is the cpu if anyone has any concerns tomorrow the benchmark is coming out so we're going to be able to know exactly when and how good the computer will run with it oh dude look how cool that is for her to use her freaking moogle oh look at the white mage the dark knight attack asterogen Ooh. Dude, that was sick. That one too. I wonder if this is like one of his final attacks or is that his limit attack? Put on that defense. Nice. Marauder has a new backup attack, I think. Dude, just straight Trinity. Is that the limit break attack, do you think? nice that's a cool way to show off the face july 2nd y'all not too long not too long guys you tell me down but comment down below your opinion but the way the water effect is here with this fish everything looks so clean like especially this right here like for this to be our final fantasy in Dontro area i'm so excited i feel like the area really looks a lot different it's looking really cool we get to see our character right here like look at the differentiation between him and the background with the foliage too it's looking real clean this battle sequence too like oh yeah dude let me see you go back to that who is it is it the gunbreaker 
yeah, it's a gunbreaker. It's the gunbreaker going down with his attack. They've got the Reaper there. <clears throat> you see the Sage throwing down his attack. There's a Dark or a Black Mage. All right, Astrologian. There's the Monk. There you see a Dancer right here. There's the Archer in the back. all right you guys remember for those because like i said i probably i'm not gonna have enough time to minimize the stream this is my live let's play you guys if y'all can please subscribe to the channel follow notify all that good stuff real quick do a little shout out for myself and stuff you know got to do the YouTube thing. We're growing, so that's what counts. I appreciate everybody. Um, if you guys want to see the entire live gameplay, here it is. I'll watch, I'll make a story later. But I'm gonna be start eating a snack here in between cutscenes and stuff. I'll mute myself so you don't have to hear me, of course. But we're gonna continue playing, and um, we're probably just gonna go ahead and beat the entire thing today. Uh, if lightning says I can beat it all in about seven hours, then we'll probably just beat it today, and then that way we can go ahead and do other stuff. Busted things. But yeah, I really want to see what happens. So if I don't have to wait any longer, that would be good too. But I want to do these side quests because I feel like they're important to do the side quests while you're doing the other things. And once everyone left me now we have Ambrosia, so we can go ahead and run around on our Chocobo. That's really good. <clears throat> I kind of want to walk for right now though to see if I can go ahead and see if I can find any of that stuff it wants me to find. We also are going to finish the side quest real quick. Search for Noth. Oh, but do we just have to look right here? I see. Inspect and a monster may show up. I got a salad. Trying to eat healthier. Well, here's the can. But no sign of Nasef. To the riverbank, then. If I can't find the things, I can't find the things. We'll continue onwards. It looks like to get there, we have to finish up this part. Cool. Let's go this way now. Uh, who have we here? I'm looking for a man named Nasef. I know him. Takes care of the cans. Wait. You didn't think I was him, did you? Sorry, mate. I'm just out to gym me sell a few Ibexes. What do you want with the lad, anyway? Uh, his friend, Katav, asked me to look for him. Apparently, he ventured out to work on one of these cans and didn't return. Well, that is a worry. You're a hunter, yes. You must know the woods as well as anyone. Can you think where he might have gone? Uh, there's a bridge further down the path. Blasted thing got washed away a few moons back. Our carpenter only recently had time to rebuild it. But if I remember rightly, there is another cairn on the far side. Maybe he decided to visit that one while he was here. Maybe it's worth a look, certainly. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'll keep an eye out, too. Perhaps he just got delayed or something. Let's hope so.
This must be the bridge the hunter was talking about. I'm much of a fan of vegetables, but I know we have to eat them. If you want to grow big and strong. Oh, I've not got this one yet? Jeez. Teleported a lot earlier. Have I gone this way yet? I don't think I've gone this way yet. That's why. I think it was blocked off before, wasn't it? And see, like, that's a good way I feel like for it to be blocked off, right? It's not that it wasn't just blocked off. I feel like it has a good reason to be blocked off there. You know what I mean? It didn't hinder me beforehand, now it gives me more things for me to do. Alright, so we killed those guys. I'm looking for this guy. Got the extra stuff. I mean, that's Hold him. on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't ready. If you don't get the victory music, it's not a victory. I'm getting gypped here. Oh, thank you. The... I'm the tributary's guest. And you must be Nasef. I am, but how do you know that? Your friend Katav asked me to look for you when you didn't return. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I was so focused on attuning the cairn, I didn't see those creatures come until it was too late. How exactly do they work? Oh, that there are crystals inside. They're what keeps the glamour going. Should the ether cease to flow through too many of them, our shroud would quickly unravel. It's my job to make sure that doesn't happen. And an important job it is. But you'll struggle to do it if you're dead. You need to take more care. Yeah, no arguments there. The truth is, me and Katav usually work together, watching each other's backs like. But when we heard outsiders were coming, we split up to get the job done faster, so things would be perfect for your arrival. Stupid, I know. So you found him then? Not before the local fauna did. My arrival seemed to put them off their dinner. <laughs> Mustn't have been hungry after all. Expect you'll be wanting someone to escort you back to the village then, Nasef. 
Woods are full of nasties today. When you're next in Haven, be sure to come and see us. You saved my life. It's only right I repay you. If you insist. Take care now. I thought I'd lost you. But you saw to it. Thank you. Nasef told me everything. If you hadn't got there when you did... Oh, it doesn't bear thinking about. All that matters is that you're safe. Far be it from me to tell you how to do your jobs, but... Don't go alone again. Or if we have to. Maybe we should think about casting the glamour on ourselves to keep the wildlife from spotting us. It'd take its toll, of course, but it'd beat letting the cairns fall and having to weave the entire spell from scratch. Imagine if we had to do that. <laughs> I'd rather not. We'd only succeed in adding two new piles of stone to the collection. Your bearers? That we are, thank the tides. The others can't attune to the crystals in the cairns the same way we can. I reckon this place would be doomed without us. <laughs> so, you do this work for the good of your people, not because... We're forced to. No. From what I've heard of the way things work on the outside, we were truly blessed that our rain fell here in Mysidia. Our people are few enough as it is. If we started turning on each other, kin against kin, over nothing but a stupid accident of birth, our days would be numbered. They would. Anyway, all's well that ends well, eh? Thanks to you, both of us live to keep this place hidden another day. And what are you two drawing? I wonder why they decided to make them bow like that. Because I don't think anyone's really bowed at all like that since Final Fantasy X. I wonder if that has some kind of connection to it. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. I will have to charge you. It's worth 5,000 gil, that's pretty decent, I guess. I've gotten back up to 2,000 from just doing the um, little bit that I've been doing. All side quests have been complete, so we'll continue on to our story now. Have another save. We're doing good. Continue on. Yeah, we're already at four hours. We'll go over the six, but I'm pretty sure we can beat it all in one day. <laughs> I'd rather have a long stream and just get it all done versus two separate ones, I think, honestly. Good girl. Let's go. This is a new Alani energy drink. I haven't tried this one. But it's orange kiss. It pretty much tastes like orange soda. All right, let's leave the small fries alone. Back to the stables, go. Oh, well, that was short lived. Let's go to this next part.
Oops. That's why it told me to get on the Ambrosia, because I was in the wrong spot. Gosh diggity darn. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Let's go around the corner. <gasps> Excuse me. Nice, 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 very nice. Is my voice going okay? Let me see. I think that sounds fine, right? Well, I'm just like barely louder than the game. Is that? Yeah, it's a little bit better. Um, total aggro. Oh. No. Nope. 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 All right. Let's go. This way. Thank you. Thank you. Finally. Finally. There's a large gate up ahead, and beyond it, a cluster of ancient ruins. The temple, or the Heir of Hours, as my people call it, can only be reached by passing through them. is crawling with life, most of it hungry, which is why we make sure this gate stays shut. And why you carry that impressive looking axe, I presume? <laughs> Noticed her, have you? The temple is up there. Don't worry, those cliffs aren't the only way to the top. I don't know if I'm using that teardrop right, but I guess I have to make it appear, then I let it sit, and then after it sits, I have to hit it at the right time. Let's try it one more time. That was pretty cool. I don't think I've actually seen her doing her attacks lately. Yeah, I didn't notice. At what point did Joshua go sit down? She's just a guest in my party. Are these the ruins? Yes. As far as we can tell, they're part of the same complex as the temple itself. To think of all the people who must once have lived here. Final Fantasy Dawn Trail, 16 edition.
Oh, it's still, I was like, it's still going. I was like, I haven't seen a chest in a little while. But like now would be a good time to put one down. Two dead ends, one circle. Is that beast rigging? Oh, he has one of the crystals I need. Teardrop is at its biggest part. Smith that has an appetite for these things. I was like, did I pick it up or do I still need to pick it up? Who's a good boy? Oh, they all connect. That's better, I guess. All right, let me see. I guess I picked it up, right? Outer stone. Yeah, I picked up the aqua marine. Okay, cool. Here we go. So this connects this way. Going. Now go to my left. It's just this little... Oh, there's the treasure chest that I'm looking for, probably. Will of Water. Oh, it's an accessory for that one. Okay. So they're not all bought. I do have to find some. Well, it might just be the better one. That's why I found that. All right. So we explored there. Let's go down more this middle and then a hard right. And then that is actually not connected. So we probably should have just gone that way first, but whatever. This area all looks really pretty though. Like if Dontra looks this good, that'd be dope. Yeah. 
die. Ooh. Pretty monster. Alright, let's go. We drop down a save. And then we're gonna fight him. Let's go, dude. I got him good. I'm sorry, pretty kitty, but you had to die. Not really even sure what I picked up because I wasn't paying attention to the drops. Let me see. Can I go back and clip it? I'm sorry. kitty let's see here what do i get for drops oh i didn't give me anything other than exp and stuff that's fine that's fine i guess oh there we go that's the real prize it was something green so i don't think it was that good I'm not even using the perfect dodge. 
That's what I need to be using this for. Does that count as a perfect dodge? Alright. I guess that's just there for us to keep level grinding, probably. Because I don't really think that chest was that important. The other chest that I got was an accessory, so that's good. We have to forge the other accessories. I've only somewhat caught one of those crystal balls, though. They said they're in the area and they'll pulse, but maybe they have to come at late game. But I think we're doing really good. These remind me of home. You're from the north, then? Yes. And um, no. I see. Oh, do we get more Jill stuff finally? Oh, here's another one. Oh, shizness. Cordial, Corel. I feel like I always say that wrong. Yeah. All right, I'm at me, monster. I think he already died. Did he die or run away? Yeah. Well, that's a BS. I totally killed him. Is it because I moved away too far? Glitch in the matrix. Yeah, I ran away. It ran away with one health though. That's not fair. I'm not doing it again. Oh, you can run away and stuff, but I can't. Yeah, I'm not doing that, bro. That's not fair. I killed him and then he runs away because he had one HP. Nah. Do you see that cave up ahead? Whoever lived here carved a flight of stairs into the stone within. Away to the top. And whatever it is that awaits us there. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this is the place where we see more of the Tomberry stuff. Okay. I didn't realize that this was just going to be a circle in this area. So this area is called River's Met. This one's called Maiden's March. Because we had heard about the air of Mowers. I stepped one foot out of your line of reach and you want to come at me like that? <laughs> I know what you mean, Lightning. I just think it's funny. I was literally like had one health left and he ran away from me. There. The temple the time forgot. And the various inside. Yes. You can see the spell's path from the nave. What is it? I... I don't know. It's probably nothing. Forgive me, but why build the Vare here? The spell was originally meant to be cast on Drake's eye, and this was the only place with an unbroken line of sight. I hate when I go to map, because I feel like it takes so much longer to move from that point to every other point of the thingy. I feel like at some point I'm going to come to a limit. I don't know why, but this one looks like it's different. They look none too pleased to see us. Oh, dude, that's not even fair. What a good AoE attack that is. New enemies approaching? Yeah, because I just smashed everyone else. While our numbers dwindle, theirs seem only to increase. As if they were feeding off our suffering. Nice, very nice. I need a Tomberry plush in my life. Damn, look at that wave. We're getting close. We're gonna find the end soon, I think. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Hip hop, don't stop. I could use a potion, thank you. Ooh, treasure chest. My only complaint is that the treasure chest should be a different color, maybe. Because I feel like they're blending in very well. Are we about to get all a Jill story right here? A hundred or whatever the game allows. Oh, okay. Yeah, I probably need to minimize some of my save storage. This is what we waited for. Could this be their leader? Welcome Let's go. Die, Tom Barry, die. Oh, shoot. Alright, let's go. Nice. So well.
Zoned out. Let's go. <clears throat> Give me some HP back. I'm in dust. Master Tomberry. Oh, baby. He's mad. Oh, I missed that one. Oh. Damn it. Wrong buttons. If my flames won't kill you, my tide would have. Yeah, baby. First chant first try against the Master Tomberry. Dude, look how much AP I got. I'm happy I put that AP boost up. Same thing with the gill. Ooh, we got another fool's gold. Now I can make the Tomberry knife probably, huh? That could have been worse. Beautiful. And he's blue. Aye, well, if the forest's taught me anything. Is that there's always something worse. I hope we get another book or something that has all the DLC stuff for 16. Because I have the art book. I'm going to unbox that. I'm probably going to do the poster book first because that one just came out yesterday or today. So it's going to be like the new thing people are looking for. I'll do the art book after that one. Um, But yeah, like an ultimate. I know they have an Ultimania in Japan too, but I don't have that one either. Yeah, I make all these saves, but honestly, not all of them are useless. The only thing that matters is to continue. And I was, I had started a Final Fantasy mode, but I'm just gonna, I only played the first like 10, 20, 30 minutes, maybe a few hours. So I'm just gonna restart, especially now that we've leveled up further and more power. But realistically, I can just keep pushing the, um, I feel like I'm going the wrong way. I am because I killed him over here confused me Tom Barry your dead body was in the wrong side of the field this is where we're trying to go yeah climb that wall Clive
Ah, oh, just annoy the wolf. Yeah, boy. Finish him off with the finisher. Good stuff. Gotta get as much power up as stuff as possible. The more we do now, the later we have to do then. I'm just trying to get as much money as possible too, because we gotta buy all the orchestra rolls. Nice. New one for my wind power. Oh man. I should probably move my dodge button. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. This is it. Give me your friends! I thought I was going to die. Oof. Let me get some, uh, let me get some GG's. Oh, doggy. This is why the mini map would be useful. Or any kind of map. I keep pushing the middle button. I can't even bring up a map. Thank you for the claps. Yeah, there's the box. Okay, I killed these guys. Okay, which way to go? That way. Wait. Wait, Clive. Hmm. 
<laughs> I like my bot. It's so funny. How wild will this ride get? As they gather each GG like a beacon of light, racing against the face of the unknown. That's a lot of moves you did just by making square impressive. Just by <laughs> just by smashing square impressively. I know, right? <laughs> I thought I was going to die, but I just had to use a little bit of my powers and just a little bit of here, a little bit there. Oh yeah, here we go. There's the big gates. We trailblazing. I'm going to go delete all those eventually. Safe. Just inside the dome, yes. But it's what's out here that worries me. What does that mean? I feel like she's not telling me something. And you'd think uh, she would tell me things before they happen so I could be prepared. Because, like, looks, obviously this is a boss field. And there I was thinking they'd all migrated south. The weaker ones did. The weaker ones? Did you hear that, Sid? Oh, that's really sad. <laughs> Isn't that the? This is the one that me and Sid fought together. Oh, I wonder if I don't get hit by him, if I could get, I should be trying to get the trophies for the no hit boss. I forgot about that trophy. I don't want to put on precisions though. I have all these saves. We can come back and try a boss fight later. Let's go. Yes, go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh shoot, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. Wrong button, wrong button. Oh, I was trying to push. Oh, that did not work in time. Excuse me. All right. Ugh! Yes, let's go. Stepped in it. Thank you. Fire and flame. Yes. Oh, 
Oh shoot, it's poisoned. Got him staggered. Flames of rebirth. Heal me for my limit break. Bring the waves. Ice, ice, baby. Drop that. Dagger's gonna be over here in a second. Yes. Oh. Dang it, I waited one second too early. He still got me. Oh no, I pushed O instead of R1. Damn it. I didn't realize my health was low. I stabbed one potion. Damn it. Oh, come on. I dodged that one, didn't I? Nope. Damn it, dude, that's the... Ah, that's why I keep dying, because I keep not getting the right stupid icon ability. I can't go on. I'm going to have to redo that one. Fudgical, bro. Here, let me take a little bathroom break. Uh... Quick bathroom break. <laughs> Background. You see the paladin right there. We're zooming. New characters. Like I need to level all my classes up to 90. I need to turn on the animations. So I really want to see like how all this stuff is working. I need to go find a practice dummy and start doing all the attacks. Cause look at that. That was a good paladin attack there. <clears throat> so you see the bun boy paladin. That's pretty cool because I'm a bun boy paladin. Or is it a bun girl? We got red mage right here. There's Samurai coming at it with its final attack. You have the Astrologian. Yeah, that's Quiet Mage. Or there's the Astrologian. Nice. Ninja attack with the summon. Then you have your Viper doing all your cool flashy new sword attacks. And the fate goes down. He's next to the Marauder right there in the White Mage. I'll be really excited. Like I said, I need to do one of the crafters maybe i'll start off what do you think is nice maybe for the mining maybe start fishing 
but I'm really excited to see what they're gonna do with the crafters. Cry looks so good, like it's so cool, you guys, to finally see using her in the main story actually like being used a lot more. I'm really excited to see how this is gonna turn out. Like these graphics are amazing. And like look at us squatting up, y'all. The new character too, like the female Hothgard looks really good. This is going to be the guy we're coming out to fight. So right here, I'm pretty sure you're seeing its rotation one, two. I'm really cool to see the Pictomancer with the Moogle summon. See your white mage, another dark knight attack right there. See how cool that is. Reaper. Everyone just showing off their attacks. And you say, look at me powering up. So I would assume that's probably going to be one of your bigger cooldown attacks. But I'm wondering if this is like just the Trinity limit. Like obviously right here, you've seen the Marauder use his defense block. And then you just go straight in for the... Like that looks like it's doing a lot of damage. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be the Trinity. Limit break. Ooh. And that's just a cool way for him to come out looking. Like I said, I haven't done every single class, you guys. So you please do comment down below what you think. I'm going to be playing more, hopefully live streaming me doing up some leveling classes. So there's a lot for us to look forward to. But yeah, thank you so much for watching the video, you guys. Please do subscribe. We have so much Final Fantasy stuff to be looking forward to. I'm going to be posting all kinds of different content going over to the different news and different gameplay and stuff. We have Dontro coming out this summer. We have Final Fantasy 16 DLC coming out next week. And we still have Final Fantasy 7 Part 3. Check out some more videos for my channel really does help out a lot check out the video on the left hand showing off did you get your copy of the collector's edition were you able to get through the first boss of dawn trail the 404 screen let's talk about what's inside the collector's box what you get from pre-ordering dawn trail when the release date and what to do now to get ready for our summer vacation let's get into it first up let's talk about what's in the collector's edition and its many nice collectibles first we are able to get an expertly crafted viper figure of meteor viper is going to be the main job of the expansion so it's really cool to go ahead and see that nifty little figure. Next up, we can go ahead and see the Adventurer's Cloth Map, a wonderful map of yours on a cloth map that shows the new world on the clouds and the clouds moving less and less. Next up, I thought was one of the cutest part of the collection, the never-ending journal can be your own to fill with your own adventures. Being a little blank journal, I think is the coolest thing. I don't know if I'd actually even want to use it or just keep it as a copy to hold, but it's really cool to have you guys. Second to last, we are shown what I thought was the most random but a really cool part of the collection. The Adventurer's Pen Case will let you keep your pencils and other things in a nice leather pouch with the three different areas to it and have some of the world map on the other side of the thing. It's really cool. You can roll it up, go ahead and wrap it with the leather strap to make sure you can keep it hold in your pouch or backpack. Finally, to hold everything inside is a beautifully gold box, expertly crafted, having some beautiful artwork of the Warrior of Light. Next, let's talk about the in-game bonuses items that you get for both editions the collectors and the digital collectors edition up first we get to see the arc mount which is going to be based on one of the summons from final fantasy 9 you'll see that the theme for all of this is going to be final fantasy 9 which is one of my favorite games which is really cool when asked about why the references yoshi p said it's a secret so i can't wait to find out this one is going to be somewhat similar to one of our previous mounts but i think this one is really super cool it looks like it's going to be more of a solo versus... <laughs> All right, let's try again. I need to change some buttons. <laughs> oh, is it too late to change? Ugh. I was going to change some of my icon powers too. I think this needs to be triangle, which makes my magic R1. So I think I just need to do L2, <coughs> L1. I think that's the only difference. But uh, those I'm really only using during, this should be fine.
Oh, that would hit. I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. Oh, there's a limit to how far it goes. Good to know. Pal. There we go. I had to move the dodge button. If I had pedals, it would be a lot easier also. But I don't really want to get the PlayStation Pro controller. Oof. I don't know if that played the Final Fantasy sound or not, so I'm going to get my own. Sorry if that was loud. Blind Justice. Like the surge. Mm. Another of my ancestors' sins. 
Shall we? shows the extent of the spell's reach. But I can feel its ether from here. Because <laughs> that's the fire button. But I like that to be... Or I guess I don't jump very often. jump do we now it's X dodge dodge shift dodge rebirth we'll try that Shula, wait. Before we cross the threshold, I'd like to know a little more about how these magics work. I assume we'll be safe from their influence. We won't grind to a halt, if that's what you mean. The spell only affects the things that were present at the moment <clears throat> it was cast. things can as well like the ones we saw on the way here and worse probably heck yeah bro <clears throat> is but this leviathan's doing well it certainly wasn't ours when he realized my ancestors were attempting to cast a spell from here he made to destroy the temple and almost did by the looks of it I love this song. Ooh. They made a nice underbeat too. I bet I can you can make a cool lo-fi music out of this. Sat in that little Ooh. I don't know which way I'm supposed to be going. Can't go that way. I go through the bush. That's the way in which we've entered. I can't go further this way. <clears throat> this is so beautiful, dude. Look how nice and neat they put all of those different, like, stones just floating in the air. I said they're floating up in the sky. Got some seven dark veins on mine. <clears throat> Alright, let's keep going. I can't go through those stairs, and I can't go that way. Okay, so the way I was going is the only way I can go. Actually, it might be better to have magic there, because I can hold I can hold that easier when I'm like pressing the square. Yeah. All right. Actually, I think that might be the right combo. I don't like having to push L2 and R1. I have to like move my entire hand to get that kind of button push. I knew there was something here. 
They really do blend those treasure chests right up into the floor. The flavor of water. I don't know why, but this song reminds me of something from like 14. I could, but they are. Then why is it so cold in here? I was trying to back up, but I did not back up fast enough. Oh man, stupid bomb. That was my fault. I was lost in the sauce and I did not know where to go. Is water magic more effective? Oh, I didn't realize I hold it in my left hand too. Or in my right hand. No, it's my left hand. Oh yeah. Let me hold my burning blade upon my water. Yeah, see I can hold both these buttons so much easier now. Alright, let's go, frost bomb. gonna be good AoE attack for smaller fries. I was like, that actually might have killed them all. Ooh, somebody froze me. Nice. Well, that teardrop is very powerful. I don't know why, but the ocean tone, like the little bubble bubble bombs in the song, it just feels good. I like puts me at a nice ease. I can just like sit here and listen to this. Fine, I only have insufficient space because the game gave it to me. Alright, let's keep going. I just got a chest, so I doubt there's another one. <gasps> yeah, whatever orchestra roll this is, we need this one stat because this is the bop. Ooh, Tomberry Helixer. I feel like Leviathan is the most powerful icon power we have. Once I've mastered it, it shall become so much stronger. Should I level up any other of its powers? We got the teardrop on my guitar. We got Crosswell. Tsunami. Ooh, like the dubstep song? Tsunami. 
the Verge. It's the only one that I don't have, which is the Pew Pews, so and I don't like that one anyways. Okay. Healed. I lost my UI. We'll save on the last one that I had. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted. Sure. everybody let's all go for a wave <clears throat> I was like and there's more Oh, I want the treasure chest. Oh no, a bomb. There's two bombs. Flames over bird. Fire five. This bomb cannot be left to live. Oh, there's another bomb over here, dude. What are you gonna do? Oh, level up is what I'm gonna do. Booyah, baby. 52. Let's go. I can only imagine what this place must have been like before the attack. This would have been a hall of worship. There was something similar in my father's keep. The priests would deliver their sermons from the dais. Your father? Hmm, interesting. Dude, I really hope that's this area's theme song, because that's what we're blasting on the orchestra tonight. Just bueno, 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 bueno. Oh, I don't like where this is going. <clears throat> Dude, these tunnels are so cool. This is by far my favorite dungeon of the entire game. This is even cooler than um, Ultim or Omega. We beat the Alpha. We beat the Omega. We even beat the Sigma. Ultima Power It's kind of like ours But I guess that makes sense since we came from him Oh boy Do a little more to a stagger, it did not. I 
Oh, nice try. Precision dodge that. Water power. Ooh. Ooh, that was cool. I knew that was gonna hit me. Oh. Got him. Wait, when did that bomb show up? I die because that's not fair, dude. I killed him. I hate when things like that happen. Oh my god. That's not fair. I'm just trying to use an item too. Like I was gonna finish blow, bro. <sighs> Jeez. Some BS on that one, bro. Some BS on that one. Calling the bull. Calling the bull. I go in for the double diamond dust. I zoom in, go in for the circle with the new ability. I have full health. Go for the double slash. These bombs come over here. The bombs blew up on me and is what killed me. Oh, some BS. BS in the most of the BS. Like, I'm okay with losing here and there. Like, if I have to lose, I have to lose. Like, it is what it is. But that one was not me. I killed him. I was going to change it from the uh, circle thing, but I'm actually enjoying all those. I wonder if I should get rid of like maybe diamond dust or flames and like put on more abilities. That sucks because I totally won. Let's get to these guys first.
Nice. Again, let's go. Broke him. Get him again. Tsunami. Flames of rebirth. Go get him down with the heat wave. Throw him with the cross slice. Get another one of those out. Go. Get him. Finish him, Clive. It'll be a combo for the win. The path is clear. Boom, baby. The last climb, then. Remember, you guys. We never give up. You might lose a boss fight, but you gotta come back and you come back stronger. You can't stop me. All right, let me save again. Oh yeah, baby. That Master Tomberry was a little bit harder than the last one. But honestly, the only reason I lost that last fight was because those bombs blew up. I straight up killed him. Straight up killed him. Straight up killed him. Alright, let's go. the bathroom real fast. from the previous mount we had. This one will also be ridden as a vehicle when moving or when stationary, it will be looking more like a little Gundam, just like the summon. Next up, the second item we get to look at is going to be our wind up minion of Garnet. I'm so excited to finally be able to get one of this added into the game, you guys. Like I said, Final Fantasy IX is one of my favorite. For the cosmetic item, it's usually something to do with the weapon, and this time we are able to get a Chocobo brush, which I think looks very beautiful and will go 
perfectly with your Pictomancer glam. Why pre-order the game? Well, first of all, you get two in-game items right away, and you also get early access to play the game. First, let's talk about our adorable little minion, Zidane. That makes for an ideal adventuring partner if we keep our eyes on our valuables. <laughs> I'm so happy to have both Zidane and Dagger in Final Fantasy XIV as minions now, since we already have Vivi as well. The accessory earring, which is going to be just like last time from N Walker, based on Azima's earring from one of the raid bosses. This accessory earring will be giving us 30% extra EXP for all jobs under 90. So this is going to be an ideal accessory to have you guys added to your Warrior of Light to help you level up all your different classes up to level 90. One of the things I was thinking about doing, you guys, comment down below if you're interested, but doing like a live stream once a week to go ahead and do dailies, hang out with y'all, and go ahead and level grind one of our classes until we reach all of them up to level 90 while we wait for Dawn Trail. So please do subscribe to the channel, you guys. Hit that bell for the notification because we do live stream all kinds of different Final Fantasy games on here as well as others, all kinds of different RPGs, and you can see all the different videos that I create. So for the pre-order, y'all, we do get early access for the game. Friday, June 28th, about 2 a.m. Pacific time, we are allowed to be entered into Dawn Trail. I'm so excited. The game actually won't come out till Tuesday, July 2nd, so we get an entire weekend plus Monday in order to run around, play in the game before everyone else if you pre-order. It. My plan is to use those few days from the pre-order to go ahead and level up grind our Viper and Pictomancer from level 80 up to 90 so we can go ahead and use them in our story quest and my main job, Paladin. The MSQ always gives you a lot of EXP, so it's good to have like one, two, or maybe even three jobs to kind of help balance and spread out all that EXP. Please do come and join in the fun if you guys are interested in hanging out, playing the game with me, or doing the early access. I'll go ahead and add my character's name and world and location down below in the description. We were also given some more Final Fantasy 16 information, you guys, on the collaboration event that will be coming out April 2nd. So please do subscribe to the channel because I'll be posting a separate video going into depth about all of the different things that you'll get from the event. And talk to you. Drinking the energy drink and everything was making me have to go to the bathroom. Just chuck some water. Because I had to take my vitamins, so I might have to take another bathroom break. But yeah, here we go. Uh, boss fight. sensed it the moment we arrived, though I wasn't sure until now. You can feel it too, can't you, Clive? She's calling us. You don't mean the witch? I do. Though she was more than that. Much more. She was a dominant. A dominant who once commanded the icon that now resides in both me and Clive. Of course. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see it. Who else would have the power to freeze time? None other than Shiva herself. But for her ether to endure after all these years, it, it's almost as if... Was she waiting for us? As if she shared it with another, just as Torgal shared in my eyes. Hmm.
All right, here we go. Another boss fight. Wasn't left here for them. I doubt they even knew it existed. Keeper. at me.
Oh. Oh shit, man, I got too comfortable. These are the worst times to zone out sometimes. Oh, shizness. Oh, this guy's scaring me. I walked right into that one. That's not fair. I mean, it is fair, but... Stickers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh man, I was not in a good spot, I feel like. Not in a good spot. Clive, double jump out of the way. That one hurt. Oh no, Clive. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Damn it. I'm on the wrong buttons. No, Clive, get out of there. I 
not comfortable. Oh, mother gooser. you That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Too slow. Oh my god, no! Oh no! Oh, Clive, get up! Oh, Clive! Oh, Clive! Woo, dang it! It's getting angry at by the moment. Then we better cut this short. And dodge it in time. To happen like this. Oh man, dude. GG, you guys. Like, oh, that's a hard fight. There's really not much else I can do other than try again. Oh man. Hard. We're like so close to the end, I feel like. Oh man. I was close. I was so close. Do you think I need to be more aggro?
Oh, I see. If I step in that, I get stuck in the ice. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, did I retry really from like he has less health? Oh my god, that's my fault. I zoned out again. Hey, you dragoon jump, I dragoon jump. You don't want to dance on me? Call that thing out at the wrong time every time. My little summon ball. my own fault I pushed the wrong buttons at the wrong time I should have just kept the Leviathan power out these fights are made for Leviathan if you didn't use a Leviathan you were doing something wrong I felt like all right third time's the charm right guys Jeez, Louise Business.
I feel like he's being a little more aggressive here. Oh, got me. Stood still too long, stood still too long. Alright, come at me. Oh. I should have popped that out a little bit sooner. Oh. Just dodging, I'm not getting anywhere with this guy. Come on. Oh. Okay, we're getting closer. Come on, come on. Finally, third time's the charm. Got you. Oh my gosh, that was a hard fight. 69. Nice. <laughs> oh. Well.
Close your ears, you guys. I got to get my final victory. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Can't stop, won't stop. Woo! Got this one. Got cold snap. We got Wyatt and still skin. Well, let's destroy it and put an end to this. Wait. The spell must be weakened, not undone. Isn't that what we came here for? Did you ever stop to wonder what might happen to the tidal surge if I unraveled the whole spell at once? I didn't think so. This is going to require a bit more finesse. From wind and light, water and earth, let the silent pall of my ice. There's too much ether. I think so. The thread connecting this place to the child should be broken. Meaning Walias should finally be... Free once more. Oh. Leviathan. Our most profaned fragment. Its divinity defiled by the hand of man. Its spirit shackled by his hubris till Muthos came, bringing release. Now, let the sins of man be redeemed by the hand of the servant of God. We're going to go over the six hours. That's fine. I just want to edit the breaks out. But we're going to get this whole DLC done in one shot. That has to be the ending, right? Leviathan? The Surge. Can I not save? Dang, Clyde, you're going to go walk real far, real fast. All right, I don't think we can save, you guys. We're going in. I'm pretty sure this is the fight. <sighs> this is the moment we've been waiting for. The Bith Ultima came out real quick and was like, oh, hey, been looking for you. Funny, funny you should ask. Cape Neptune. Oh, like Neptune, like the 
Okay, that's funny. Dude, Leviathan is out of control. It's my Ben Star impression. He's like Batman. After 80 years of imprisonment, I'd be angry too. But I can't let it end like this, Wally is. It's time for you to come home. Dude, his face looks so good in that. Alright, let's drop a different save. I like the setup we have, so we won't change our icon power. Oh, and look how cool my um, actual cape and everything looks in the thing. Yo, let's go, bro. I'm so excited for this. This is so good. This might be the final part of the DLC, you guys. I wonder if the wave's gonna be gone after this. That's kind of sad. The world won't look the same again, but oh well. Ooh, another one of these guys. It's time, let's go. The little Garudas. Baby. Yeah, boy. I'm just gonna walk around like a badass. Dude, that is cool though. Leviathan's just coming straight out of my arm. real strong. Alright. Leviathan is the strongest. Tsunami. Oh, nice. Alright, well, I'm quite powerful. We only made it to level 52. So you don't even need to make that high to beat the uh, DLC. I guess those higher levels are just for us to get more ability points. We don't need to be that strong in order to, like, actually beat the game. I heard you the first time. Is my lice... Is everything too loud now? Or is everything just right? So let's see... No, I feel like that's perfectly. I just have that like echoey thing in my bios. Maybe it's only me. I'll try to fix it. Let's go. baby. He's just scared. Alright, here we go.
Come on, then. No more hiding. This isn't what I wanted! I only hope you can forgive me. Let me just pause here for a second and say that was amazing. Leviathan looks great. He's huge. Let's go in and get this fight, you guys. I got my melee combo, my fireball, all that stuff. <clears throat> Brimstone, R square, X, R square. Oh! 
Dang it, bro. I don't know if we're going to win the first time, you guys. I'm going to try. Finally. If I could just get to at least the next phase. Let's go, bro.
go in for it, go in for it, go. Go in for it, go in for it, go. You know, that's the blue square circle. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, fail. I hope there's a save point. <sighs> it's okay, Lightning. Hopefully there's a checkpoint. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Maybe because I charged out. Maybe I had to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, dodge out. Like a precision dodge, I said. Guys. Okay, so I can dodge out of that. Oh! Huzzah! Too soon. Oh, I missed. Oh, again. Well, ain't that nice. Missed again. Oh. At least I keep dodging that somehow. Yep.
get him. Yo, let's go. I am. Had to open your big mouth. Is that not enough to stop it? Oh, come on. Damn it. I pushed triangle. That should have dodged it. Uh, which part are they going to put me at? This is a really good fight. Just long. Uh. Obviously, I can't break it on the first try. The seas rise in. Five. Oh, come on, dude. What did I do wrong? Wow. 
way out. It was nice knowing you guys. To finish. Tsunami. Well, that's what happens when you die, you guys. I was so flipping close, dude. I don't understand what I did wrong. I did so much better than the first time. Hey, okay, come on. I said so. This is going on long enough. Come on, Leviathan! We must go down, if not for me, for your people. Again? Dang it, dude. What am I doing wrong? Do you see how close I am? Like, come on, dude. There's only so much you can do. No matter what I do, it's going to die. You have to beat that thing right there. How oh, stupid. Like, I know they wanted to make it hard and challenging, but come on, like, what am I doing wrong? Do I need to do more aerial attacks then? Because the only thing I'm seeing that I'm doing wrong is missing maybe that stupid one, two, three shoot attack now because I changed my button combination. Like, I, I'm pressing the attack. Come on!
Oh, come on! What am I doing wrong, dude? What am I doing wrong? Like, come on. I can't... This No, that's not fair. I'm literally not even getting hit that much. Like, what am I doing wrong? I can't... That's not fair. And then I just have to sit here and wait to get hit. Like, I can't level up his attacks. I'm not getting hit very often. Jesus. X after handing a Healy attack to Choco Loco. I don't feel like Stomp's really going to help. X square. They're not all mastered? Like, I don't understand what to do if I can't beat it. Like, I, I have to continue. I have to beat it. Like, Jesus Christ. Stop this. I'm not here to play. Oh, come on. Okay, well, I didn't waste it at least. I said, stop! This has gone on long enough! Oh, come on. That's even worse than last time. Like, what am I doing wrong? What do I have to do? That's not... I, I don't like that.
a bear. Stop this! I'm not here to play! I don't have like a limit ability I can use or something. Still too low. Are you still watching lightning? I don't understand what I'm doing wrong and I would like some assistance please because now I'm very upset and this is not fair. Like I'm going ham on him. Like what else can I do bro? What other attack am I missing? Like there's no other attacks. Like, I can't move on to the next phase. I feel like that's the very end of the boss fight, and I can't get through it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Do I need to bust my X attack right away? Like, jeez, dude, I'm not even getting far enough to get there. Stop this. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. It's very annoying. It helps knowing that someone's there. Thank you so much, Sloppy Joe, coming in with the 20-month subscription. You can do what he says. This is going on long enough. Oh. I'm not going to get it again. This health is too low. Come on. 
No. This is gonna be the fifth or sixth time, dude. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Makes me so mad. Like, I'm literally, what else can I do? I really appreciate the, the support, though. The sub matters because we're sub count has gone low. Like, I know they wanted to make the last fight challenging and stuff, but I don't understand, like, literally don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Unless if I go watch somebody else's fight. I don't want to do that. Like, I don't... I'm literally doing every attack possible, dude. Like... <sighs> literally every single part of the other fight has been good except this part. We got the very end of the stream, Joe. We've been going long and hard. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. And it's really just that there's a difference between level progression and skill progression and then just making it stupid. I don't I'm, like how many more attacks can I do, bro? How many more attacks can I do? I don't understand. I don't know who to go back and watch either. Like, geez, dude, this is the very end of the boss fight. What did you do, Lightning? Like, am I just a bad video game player? Things like this make me want to quit games. Like, oh. I don't understand. Like, I don't know how else unless if I hit him further before I get here. I always get the ability combo almost. Like, I'm straight attacking him. It's not doing as much damage, I feel like, than it does from afar. Maybe is that why? Like, look at that perfect freaking aerial dodge. You're telling me from there I'm not doing good enough to win game? You're telling me I'm not doing good enough for me to win?
Like, this is what I mean. Like, literally, what else can I do, bro? Literally, what else can I do? Like, there's a difference between... Be like, I've done this six or seven times. What can I do different? To finish. I hate this. I don't want to act this way. My short temper, I can't control it sometimes. Like, I have... I don't want to complain about stuff like that. That doesn't matter. It's just, like, literally, dude. Like, what are you supposed to do? This is some BS, dude. It's some literal BS. Well, I know that, Lightning. Like, obviously, once I break it, it's going to be fine, but... How, what am I what do I need to do to get the damage there? Like obviously I'm doing something wrong. I'm literally hitting him with every single attack. I'm, I'm getting a phone call. We're gonna have to take a break. About it. And then we'll be live streaming the event the day it comes out. So that's everything that was inside the collector's edition as well as the digital deluxe edition, you guys. I hope you all are excited as I am to play the new edition and expansion to the game. I'm really looking forward to leveling up my character until the game comes out. Having my new little minion with me and looking forward to all the new in-game items that we'll get with our pre-order code. If you guys have made it this far to the channel, I please hope that you would subscribe. We're working really hard to hit our goal of 500 subscribers, you guys. We're on like 290-something, so we're getting really close you guys this will give us the option to be adding more custom emotes to our live stream for those people who come and hang out also if you'd like to continue watching my content i really helps out with the algorithm and stuff you guys please do check out either this video of me unboxing the first edition of final fantasy 14 encyclopedia and then also i have a video here summarizing the entire event of the japan fan fest and so until the next time you guys all have a wonderful day night evening whatever time it is for you y'all have a shelltastic day shell squad this has been anthony's gaming show bye bye Yo, what's going on? How's everyone doing today? Anthony's Gaming Show. I hope you guys are excited for some more fun Final Fantasy VII Remake Trailer Reaction Analysis. We did get another official trailer, you guys. A brief recap of the story so far. Really excited for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth that will be coming out. We just beat Remake and I'm platinum in the channel live streaming here. If you guys would like to come check that out, probably live right now. But let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer, you guys. See what's inside and be able to see the difference between this trailer and the one that dropped two months ago. Let's get into it. When there is so much to tell, where else to start with the beginning? Okay, yeah. Makes a lot of sense. I think it's really cool, you guys. I didn't realize, too, either, that this is going to be Red 13 who's telling us all of this story. Sprawling city of Midgar, the Shinra Electric Power Company is draining the planet of its very essence. Yeah, that's the problem that we're having. Mako via its reactors. All makes sense. All makes sense. I feel like that watching the Mako with the children is going to be really important. The anti Shinra rebels. This is a little bit the same as the last trailer. Strife, an elite soldier turned mercenary who joined the group on their mission to this picture of Cloud. Reactor. It was there that Cloud was introduced to Barrett. Yep, and there's our first fight. Time. See, and that's really cool because this is the original fight from Final Fantasy VII. So it's nice that they're showing that one off here in the trailer with everything. Amidst the aftermath of Avalanche's first attack. Cloud met a flower Spy, is he? Aerith. And we see Aerith. So that's cool. They're showing a little bit more of these characters. Because I went back and rewatched that first trailer. And it made a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah, they blew up the first one and the second one. This is when we got snitched on. That's so crazy, dude. It's crazy how much damage the plate did. And like to see everything here in 3D and full action is just insane. It's, I can't even believe it. The graphics are so good in this game. And like, this is what I mean with Marlene. I feel like that's gonna be really important. The Geo Stigma. Come on, let's like, crack open that egg. They said we gotta make an omelet to come back and connect from rebirth to remake and they've made like a lot of deal i feel like with the children's eyes looking at the mako so maybe 
the uh, the sickness that I said I just forgot what it was. <laughs> but maybe that'll be coming back into the game, you guys. I think it's gonna be really important. It was here that I, another Shimmer captive, joined the rebels and assisted them in freeing the Earth. I'm excited. He's gonna finally be part of During our party. Escape, we came and we'll be able to use. With a man thought dead. The fallen war we were able to find Sephiroth. See, this is. I felt like this uh, trailer is a little bit better if you haven't played remake yet compared to the other one. Because this is a. They're doing a pretty short summary. I feel like of the whole game on this trailer versus the last trailer, which is really funny. Because I watched the first trailer, which was five minutes long too. This one's only three, and like that trailer, like it's a whole recap of the entire game. If you guys. Go watch. I'll show you at the end of this video uh, that one, but it's just crazy. This one's like going real straight through. <laughs>
I have to get every single precision. I'm pre I'm dodging twice. I don't feel like that's good enough. I need to dodge once and then get the precision hit. Precision shot. Sick and tired of this. Sick and tired of this. I guess that's why they kind of put that in. Stop this! Oh. I'm not here to play! I'm gonna fail, but I guess each time I play, I learn. I think those are stairs. <clears throat> so am I supposed to skip and shoot from each one? This is going on long enough. Oh, well, I'm in the face for that. We're still at half health with him too, so there's another half of the fight. The village. Like that. I'm just trying to figure out more ways I can attack him while I'm getting to him. How are we supposed to beat this in the hard mode? Stop this! I'm not here 
I wish I could just retry from this point, because after a certain this moment, you already song. know you lose. This is gonna run it off. So those only can be used from afar. I can use my charged ones as soon as I get to him. I need to kind of... Stone that. Oh, you kept it on triangle? I don't like it on tri triangle. I moved it to X. Alright, here we go. There's that one. Let's start off the battle strong. Jump up like that, I can kind of charge afterwards a little bit too. This is gonna run it off. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I didn't know what I'm gonna do this one now. The precision between two and three is very close too, which makes me mad. I'm just really over this.
after this, we're pretty much done with everything, right? To finish. This is the last little bit. Sloppy Joe coming in for the subscribe and then the bounce. Give me that crap. Dude, what's making me mad is that we're not even getting closer. Like, it's at the same point. We're stuck at the same point. There's not much of a difference. To finish. <clears throat> I'm gonna make a review video first, and then I'll make a story video, because now I'm just so mad. The entire game has been amazing up to this point. Like, I don't know, maybe if he's already playing it in hard mode, but he's also, oh no, he finally made it through. Then maybe I just suck. But this is just plain out annoying. That's only a level one, that's not gonna help at all. Where's the level 3 at? Am I missing it?
blast tax will blow you away, it can be mitigated. You can perform a switch recovery to gain more stability, just like whenever he's back by. No. The village. Which attack am I messing up on?
village. I feel like there's a difference between challenging and changing your progression scale. Because even with the Shiva Knight, like I was able to dodge all their attacks easily and keep dunning around, doing stuff. Like I sh the window should be bigger. I'm like, I don't, I literally don't know what else to do. And it's just making me mad. Maybe I'm just really bad then. Like, that'll be the thumbnail for, is going to be a picture of this. But, like, I just don't understand.
the village. The village.
Full of surprises, aren't you?
Not this time. I did it. I beat him. With the power of God and anime on my side and perseverance, my shinobi ninja way, I won't give up. I'll get mad and I'll get frustrated. Maybe I should have got up and took a lap around the yard, but... Oh my god. I'm gonna go back and rewatch the stream, catalog my rants, so that way I can use it for part of my script. Like, I couldn't even enjoy the ending cinematic like awesomeness the fight was just because i'm just so frustrated at the oh i got a lot of exp ap and guild though still not enough to buy all the freaking orchestras but like i'm okay i'm okay with not being good i'm okay with the game being hard i'm okay with dying like sometimes you gotta lose you can't win anything if it was a walk in the park then it's a movie not a game like i'm i'm okay with dying but when we have to spend 30, 40 minutes, like I've already gone for eight hours. This was not the plan. Like they said 10 hours. The dude yesterday said five. I guess that's because the other guy is not as good like me. So, <laughs> cause, uh, geez, dude, like this is the story, right? We beat the game. Like it's over. Like we win. I would assume like Leviathan has to be the final boss. Unless if there's something more with Ultima. Oh my god, because Ultima came out of nowhere too, like, and that's the thing, like, there's only so much time in the day, and like, I understand, like, maybe they're not meant for you to binge this, maybe you're not supposed to sit here and play for eight hours straight and play this game, maybe you're supposed to just do a little bit here and a little bit there and all that stuff, but like, I have today to play this game, tomorrow we only have a little bit of time, then I have to go to work, like, there's only so much time in the day. I'm okay with the challenge, but I feel like for that, like the, the last parts, I was dying. That's fine. I did it over and over again. That's fine. But just that one part, I, I honestly, I'm going to go play it like next to each other. Like I'm going to put a bunch of clips small so you can see all of my fights like simultaneously. Because I just don't understand what I did different. And that's what makes me mad. Like, if it's luck, then it's luck. But like, I'm doing something wrong because I wasn't getting a consistent level three with the uh, square attack with my burst. So I wasn't doing good there. I'll take the L on that. But like, I went to HMK's stream and he also had a bunch of people. Like, it took me forever. I kept dying. Like, I know you're a good gamer. Lightning, how long did it take you? At last, I know, right? 
freaking give me some hype. Let's go ahead and drop the rage emote because we be out here straight raging. Oh, let's get a bomb drop. All right, let's continue on with the story. A little small rant over. I too have quite a cantrum. He's adorable. He is now. But did you see him a few moments ago? to thank you. No, by far best boss fight. Best boss fight, best, like, everything was good. Like, that is the best this game has had to offer, I think. I think that was better than the last, like, Ultima. I'll go back and watch my first time playing me the boss fight. Like, this DLC was great. It's just that one part of the boss that just, oh... There. He's finally asleep. The poor thing had a long day. That makes two of us. So, what happens now? Now? Now, we make things right. How? By providing Walias what he was denied. A place to learn and grow. A family to love and protect him. So that one day, when the wounds in his heart and mind have finally healed, he might decide for himself how he'd like to live the rest of his life. But until then, I'll stay by his side, come what may. Then he's a lucky boy. And not only because he'll have the best warrior this side of the belt to teach him the battle axe. Hm. She'll do her best. Shula. 
The beast that threatened your home is tamed. The empire that threatened your people toppled. Might it not be time to cast off your ancestors' glamour and retake your place in the twins? Perhaps. It's not as if we have the crystals to maintain the wall much longer. But are we truly safe? Is the world truly ready to accept us for who we are and what we believe? If I remember rightly, you and yours still choose to remain hidden, do you not? We do. Well, your people will always be welcome in Haven, regardless. As will yours in the hideaway. We're allies now. If there's anything you need from us, supplies, food, equipment, do not hesitate to ask. It's kind of you to offer. But we'll manage, just as we always have. Besides, I suspect you'll be needing everything at your disposal if you're going to save the world. <laughs> I fear much of it is past saving. The best we can do is strive to turn what's left into a world where we can all live as equals. A noble endeavor. And there'll be a place in this world for us, will there? For Walias. For everyone. I swear it. Then we shall be waiting. Until the tides bear you back to shore. We did it! I beat it! Thank jeez! Holy Genova. Oh. Holy Ultima. Heaven signboard. I guess that makes sense. Silver penny. Can be traded for gill? You mean I didn't get nothing for that quest? No gill, no experience, no nothing? Some booty. Story-wise, that makes so much sense. So that's her great-grandpa or something, right? And she's going to be his mummy. Do you think he'll be all right? Well, yes. Only time will tell. But I can certainly think of worse places to spend one's childhood. The moats of water are a fine people, and they will take good care of him. Up by the Vair, Ultima spoke to me. He called Leviathan his most profaned fragment and told me to redeem the sins that had laid him low. Is that so? The sins of Walius' ancestors were grave indeed. To force him to prime at so tender an age. And to freeze him in time. That he might never know what it was to live. Yet I doubt either of those crimes was the source of Ultima's displeasure. It was that the Icon's power had been put to another purpose than the one he intended. To him, Leviathan must have seemed an aberration. Could that be why Ultima made no attempt to lead me to him? The fear that this profaned fragment might corrupt his vessel somehow? Perhaps. Or perhaps he simply deemed Leviathan surplus to requirements. Having concluded that his vessel might be made to serve his purposes without the full sum of his power. His purposes? There's no escaping them. Even here. Hidden away in Mesidia, the blessing of the crystals proved nothing but a prison. A prison into which Walius was born. And from which freedom is hard won. If the world doesn't change, if we don't change it, he'll end up suffering the same fate as every dominant who came before him. Then we must change it. That we must. And we shall.
I'm scared of Final Fantasy mode. An invitation. A sinister light bleeds from the Aether Stone, beckoning Clive to enter. What new challenges await him within Ultima's virtual proving ground? Explain that. One, two, three, four. Forge. Okay. It is good to have a back. Reckon my steel's just as good as any. What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh. Okay, that's new. Notch Tang. I don't have that one yet. It is in mankind nature to ever seek that which is stronger, more beautiful, more divine, than upon finding it to begin a search anew. Notch Tang. Where do I get the Notch Tang and the Eldium from? Maybe these quests? Same thing with the Eldium Whistle. I'm missing that. Plus two ADM. So I need four ADM and two of those other things. Can't be done. Yeah, I have everything I need. I just need Aquaria. Well, a good tide to you. We beat everything. My friend, I have news. The rain of pain lost in the woods beyond the grave last licks. One, two, three, four. Four more side quests. Or is there more in the world? No. I still haven't seen the weird Clive thing. So I want to figure out what that is. But I keep getting my butt spanked. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just not very good. Oh, But yeah, no, Lightning, you're completely correct. This is by far the best fight. Leviathan is by far the strongest icon. Oh, is it going to be harder for me to get my Platinum Trophy now? Because I have a new icon that I have to master. I have a lot of points over here now, though. So I can start leveling more things up. Um... Yeah, Leviathan's definitely going to be a new main. Um, I don't really like Odin. It's powerful, but everything else is kind of lamish. Same thing with Shiva. I do like Shiva. I kind of like Memorize, but I don't know how much space I can throw in. Um, same thing. I do like Impulse. Or is it... Satellite? Oh no, it's Impulse. I'm okay without that or that or that. We'll have to figure it out. Because we're good here. I like this. Maybe we'll get rid of that one. I mean, it's kind of nice to bring them all together. That's kind of better than memorize. I do like having these here. Excuse me. That one's pretty OP. Maybe I'll get rid of Heat Wave. I wonder what kind of combos people are going to start making. We still have the Elden Gate to go take a look at. Nice. Increase Abyssal tier. Is there a way I can sort these? There are. So these are for the flavor of water, the will. All the waters are for my new attacks and reflections are for my um, reach and elevation. Oh, elevation. That's kind of cool. I never used blind justice. I thought we were going to get some credits or something. Maybe I haven't finished everything yet. Oh, chat. Had to get a little hangry there. Well, not even hangry. I'm not even hungry. It's just freaking gamer rage. I don't like not winning. And it's okay if you, like, lose every now and then. But, like, I just couldn't... I just, like, I feel like you have to do, like, almost 100% perfect for that part. 
I am very grateful and happy that they have the checkpoints. There's just some side content. There's still some side content. Oh, will there be credits if I finish everything? I think these are the best things. We're not going to have dinner for another hour at least. So I have a little bit more time I can keep playing. There's the reflections. Fire, wind, lightning, earth, ice. I feel like I'm still missing dragon, right? I still need one for Odin. I still need one for Bahamid. Is that it? No credits, but there's more to do. How much more? Because I know we have these quests. I know we got to go buy the this, orchestra rules. This is all we have. Oh, nice. Cascade, 40,000. I wish I knew what the songs were before I started buying them. Because I only have so much money. Why am I so broke, bro? I mean, they would be there. I could go through and re-get more money in the, in the Final Fantasy mode, but... We only have 20,000 right now. Got some new things I can sell. Oh, I have four of those. That's another 20,000, but still, that's only 40,000. That's only half. Or wait, is that one 40? That one is 40. I would have enough for that one. Very well. Let's maybe do these quests while we have time. Or should we go back and check out the trial thingy first? Oh, you know what? I bet you it's just telling me that because I have the, um, what do you call it? All is well, I trust. Shall we then? Oh, wait, is there more I can ask him now? Brother. Oh, I have to, oh, here we go. Oh yeah, I feel like these are new things. Journeying through Mysidia. It was like visiting another world, a world which the moats of water yet endured, and Leviathan the Lost was found. Not that everything there was so divorced from our own reality, Wailus' imprisonment seemed quite a piece. For is it not the fate of every dominant? To serve the be a servant of the nation in which they are born, or else the slave? No matter their fears, their fe pain, or their suffering, Wallace's treat torment differ only in means and perversity. Now it is at end. His last. So it falls to us to create a new world where every man, woman, and child can be do the same, no matter the blessing or the burdens which they are born. Chroniclers of the Fallen. Speak of the Magitek War that uh, took place prior to the civilization fall. The enemy that we encountered in Second Power Omega is doubtless the many Magitek weapons the Fallen produced. It. Legions of such being sent to battle against one another would be enough to send to the sky. Perhaps we may not felt it. Thousands of heirs after the fall of stone nations were with our icon and what dominance? Like our forebear brought us death and devastation, mankind falling. But it may yet end with us. For we go into battle wielding the greatest power in creation, not that the icons are magic tech, but the ability to learn from our magic ourself. To the end, brother. I guess we can read these other ones Hi. too real fast. This is it then, brother. Our last dance with Ultima awaits. <sighs> Only the founder know what awaits up there. Indeed. But whatever we find, we shall overcome it. It is not due to disappoint our friends. I believe in you, Clyde. They would follow you to the ends of the world if they could. Yeah. My friends don't follow me. They spur me on. I couldn't have it made it without this far, nor without you, Joshua. You gave me your blessing and made me your shield. Without you, I don't know how I could even have survived this. Even when we were apart, you were always with me, and I trust you will be with me now until the very end. Of course. Wherever that may be. He always tried to spur on me to give me courage, and his words, you men of kindness, but a boy, they cut me deeply. How killingly made me feel my own weakness, my own inadequacy. If only after we lost him, I realized he believed in me. He only wished that I would believe in myself. Father's word had told me to touch in the darkness, banishing the fearful shadow and eliminating the path ahead. His flame burns in your heart. Brother, as it does in mine, and the flame shall always continue to light our path in the ways to the very end. You have but to say the word. Let me make a new save. Oh, also kind of think I should take a break real fast, like a five or so.
These fights are a little long and they aren't even possible to shorten. Oh, really? Maybe we'll save it then. So, not again. ours and now it is yours consider it a gift from us to you a taste of things to come you still think I'm going to be your vessel <sighs> Take your gift then, Ultima. Just don't expect it back. Ultimate power! Clive has been granted a portion of Ultima's essence. Attuning with Ultima not only neutralizes the element aspect of magic. Clyde's magic, but also access to several new divine abilities such as the voice of God, a punishing attack that sends a concentrated beam of light up from the heavens to scorch the very earth. Ultima Feet Ascension allows Clyde to levitate from the ground, transforming his normal square attack into a sweeping assault capable of striking multiple enemies nearby at once. In addition, pressing R1 allows Clyde to rise up even further. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. You hear me? Well, I kind of walked straight into that one, so we kind of have to finish this because I don't even think I can save here. But let me just go take a bathroom break. Ugh. If I can't beat every side quest today, then I can't beat every side quest today. I guess we'll just play. I plan on playing more tomorrow anyways. We'll be whatever this is probably because I do want to see what his ultimate power is. Um... So yeah, let me get up and stretch, go to the bathroom while you guys watch some of my YouTube videos. I'll be right back. Yo, what's going on? How's everyone doing today? Anthony's Gaming Show. I hope you guys are excited for some more fun Final Fantasy VII remake trailer reaction analysis. We did get another official trailer, you guys. A brief recap of the story so far. Really excited for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth that will be coming out. We just beat Remake, and I'm planning to the channel live streaming here. If you guys would like to come check that out, probably live right now. But let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer, you guys. See what's inside and be able to see the difference between this trailer and the one that dropped two months ago. Let's get into it. When there is so much to tell, where else to start but the beginning? Okay, yeah. Makes a lot of sense. I think it's really cool, you guys. I didn't realize, too, either, that this is going to be Red 13 who's telling us all of this story. Sprawling city of Midgar, 
the Shinra Electric Power Company is draining the planet of its very essence. Yeah, that's the problem that we're having. Mako via its reactors. All makes sense. All makes sense. I feel like that watching the Mako with the children is going to be really important. This is a little bit the same as the last trailer. This picture of Cloud. Yep, and there's our first fight. See, and that's really cool. Because this is the original fight from Final Fantasy VII. So it's nice that they're showing that one off here in the trailer with everything. Amidst the aftermath of Avalanche's first attack... Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. And we see Aerith. So that's cool. They're showing a little bit more of these characters. Because I went back and rewatched that first trailer. And it made a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah, they blew up the first one and the second one. This is when we got snitched on. The company retaliated by destroying an entire district, killing thousands. That's so crazy, dude. It's crazy how much damage the plate did and like to see everything here in 3D and full action is just insane. It's I can't even believe it. The graphics are so good in this game. Though dear friends were lost, there was no time to grieve. And like this is what I mean with Marlene. I feel like that's gonna be really important. The Geo Stigma I feel like might be coming back. Because they said Advent Children is going to come back and connect from Rebirth to Remake. And they've made like a lot of deal, I feel like, with the children's eyes looking at the Mako. So maybe the, uh, the sickness that I said, I just forgot what it was. <laughs> but maybe that will be coming back into the game, you guys. I think it's going to be really important. It was here that I, another Shimmer captive, joined the Rebels and assisted them in freeing Aerith. I'm excited he's going to finally be part of our party. We'll be able to use... We're able to find Sephiroth. See, this is... I feel like this uh, trailer is a little bit better if you haven't played Remake yet compared to the other one. Because this is a... They're doing a pretty short summary, I feel like, of the whole game on this trailer versus the last trailer, which is really funny. Because I watched the first trailer, which was five minutes long, too. This one's only three. And, like, that trailer, like, is a full recap of the entire game. If you guys go watch, I'll show you at the end of this video uh, that one. But it's just crazy. This one's, like, going real straight through. <laughs> I thought it was so funny, too, that they used the exact same fight scene from the final battle. And this is where we'll be going, you guys, for Rebirth. I'm so excited for this open world. Final Fantasy VII. Rebirth, you guys. Only a month away. I cannot wait. All right, you guys. That was the trailer. I'm really excited for Rebirth. This trailer was a lot shorter than the last one. So it kind of just goes over the summary of the original Final Fantasy VII showing off with newer graphics, getting people pumped up for Rebirth. I highly recommend you guys play the original Final Fantasy VII as well as Remake before Rebirth comes out. I did just finish both. I'm even going to be playing Crisis Core. We're live streaming here on the channel playing remake to platinum in before the game comes out if you guys like them check out me live talk to me and chat and all that good stuff you guys so excited for final fantasy we are live streaming monday through fridays from nine to three and posting videos every few days here on the channel so please do hit that subscribe button hit the bell for notifications so you know when more final fantasy videos will be coming out and until the next time you guys please do watch this next video which will be of me reacting to the first trailer so far that was two months ago when i did not beat the game so i did not understand <laughs> Or there's a playlist of all the other Final Fantasy videos that I've done. Like I said, you'll have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you. You have a shell-tastic day, shell squad. Until the next time, bye-bye.
Should have probably have grabbed some water. But it's fine. Alright. I opened a door in accident. Now I gotta figure out what's going on. This can't be much harder than the Ultima fight, right? Interesting. And then... Smacked me in the face. I don't think I was able to change my Ultima thing, was I? No, they they do have new abilities, but I don't think I can change anything in this fight. I guess that works. Oh, that's kind of cool. Now you see Ultimate's face. And you see the Phoenix. Okay, I kind of like the way that looks. So we have... Yeah, I can't upgrade anything right now. Domain. This is the ultimate attack. Draw in small enemies and overwhelm them in a singular eruption of magic force thing we use in midair. Voice of God. Raise forth heavens of ray of light. Trying to get the. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. I think there is like a uh, counter thing. Oh. <laughs> it's just an easier counter. Is he taking up an ability slot like the other guys do? Dis X. Dios X. Yeah, see, that was easy peasy compared to what we just went through. <laughs> ah! You. Whoever rail against our gifts, remain all too eager to avail yourself of them. Perhaps you require more time to reflect. I have a new obsession with books. <clears throat> All right, cool. We got the Creoscape unlocked finally. 
Kratos is now accessible from the hideout. It's challenging in-game content. Okay. Circle 20. EP and BP. Simply put, Kratos Gate is a journey through 20 circles of existing torment. Upon completing a circle, Clyde will earn advancement points and boon points, which can be used to purchase permanent and temporary boost to abilities and attributes. Clearing a circle will also reward Clyde with rare items such as accessories, weapon, and crafting materials. Where the Ad Force boosts are only active when they are in Kratos Gate. All items can reach when they are taken back to Ballistia. Just as in arcade mode and gothic trials, performance is tailed with during Clyde's descent into Kratos Gate, with points being awarded for successful using a variety of battle techniques for dealing damage, executing commands, evading attacks. Also, each circle has a time limit, and performance battle only recorded when the timer expires. The amount of EPVP clear earned are cleared. Circles determined by the circle's final score, and additional EP bonuses awarded at targeted times. While the Kraus Gate places restrictions on level gear and consumables, there are no restrictions on icon ability usage. Between circles, you have the opportunity to respect each of Clyde's abilities. It is during these post-circle intervals that Clyde also uses EPBP earned. <coughs> and it's set, right? So once somebody does everything, we'll all know what they are. Ooh, there's like a boss there. Yeah, that sounds fun, but that is not a today thing. <sighs> so we got... How do we use said power? What great power comes great responsibilities. Uh, okay, let's change this one to Phoenix. Let's go... Times rebirth. Pull snap. Memorize diamond dust. Yeah, it is down here. So, Leviathan and Ultima. So uh, let's at least unlock them all. Oh, wrong one. Is this the ultimate attack? Pretty big AoE attack. Okay. Let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, we have a Shiva stuff. Tsunami. Dusty Tear. Crosswell. Super Cry. <laughs> we don't have enough for everything. Oh, it can be used in midair. Voice of God. They're both upgraded, but they're not maximized. I guess that's fine. So let's go ahead and go to gear and icon. Um, we want Serpent Cry here. We don't want Memorize anymore. We want Abyssal Tear. And we want Tsunami. And then for Ultima, we want Ultima Demise. Here we'll put a voice of God. And not me then. And we'll put a 
Oh, I see. Okay, so let's put Optimize Demise here and Dominion there. Let's make this Voice of God and let's make this Polarize. Dominion, Ultima Demise, Voice of God, Polarize. <clears throat> okay, Heat Wave. Vessel tier. That's the case, then perhaps. I'm not using Cold Snap right now or Diamond Dust. I felt like I made it harder to get my platinum trophy, but that's fine. Alright, so Ultima has been mastered. I mastered. <clears throat> Cold Snap was mastered, but I don't think I really need it right now. Super Car is also mastered. I might change everything again, but at least everything's there. Because I'm not going to unmaximize this. Ifrit needs to stay at maximum power. Phoenix, I guess I can unmaximize some things if I have to. But realistically, the only thing I maximized was Heat Wave and Flames of Rebirth. <clears throat> Alright, let's try that for a second. Let's come over here. We should have a new thank you letter. A new hope. Clive, I pen you this note from the Witten Hall beneath the tapestry who images for so long haunted my dreams. Outside, the air rings with Mada's soothing coos, the clank of Pevet's hammer and the rumble of his curses, and the whisper of the winds through the outer's blessing. In short, almost everything as, as it was before you came here. <clears throat> There is just one difference. The buckle and lies burden happily beside me. Inside, beside me, one tiny difference. Yet that cha had changed everything. When my ancestors committed this greatest sin, it was not only Wallace who was frozen in time. For eighty years, we, moat of waters, have been bounded by a spell they cast that day, unable to right their wrongs, unable to move forward. But now, like Wallace, we are released. We have lived again on our own terms where every life is equal and all equal cherished, all equally cherished. You brought us this gift and I have every belief that you will bring you the world. Believe it in yourself. We believe, believe in yourself. We believe in you. Cool, 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 cool. <clears throat> we should have something new here, perhaps. Oh, we're missing one. Alright, Dust Crystal, Evan Soundberg, the Emblems of Haven, a hidden village in the Moat of Waters. The pattern of intersecting lines represent both the scales of the Great Serpent Leviathan and the ripples upon the surface of the ceaseless rill. The circle of life that has neither beginning nor end, now that Wellis is released, the two flow together again at long last. I'm missing one, huh? Everything is in the game now, so it has to be somewhere. Let's see what Joe has to say for herself. What's on your mind, Clive? Hmm. I still can't believe you remember that day on Mons Hill. So for long. so long, our lives have been divided by loss, but our memories, those no one can take. And if they truly are the only things we can hold on to, then I want more. So when this is over... Let's travel the world and make new ones, and I hoard them as dragons does her gold. My, f For my memories with you are most precious of all. It occurred to me that my father once told me of a great tower just beyond the border which at one day of ours and thinking about it now he could have meant the sage sire I wonder where he would have done had he claimed it had he seen that we have seen the fallen mother crystal and Omega the pinnacle and Omega of, oh, the pinnacle of our ancestors power the power of the usher them to their own destruction 
I have to ask myself if the strength of the icons is the same. Is it too much for us to control? Is it destiny to destroy us as it did them? Mine certainly comes close but to destroying you me. you saved me. And now, with the strength of our bonds, of our icons in your heart, you're going to save us all. I've been thinking. About our time in Mystidia. We were there to save Wallace and help redeem Motes of Water. But what if dominant? What of her legacy, her redemption? She sacrificed everything. To conjure a spell that might prove her people a better future, I doubt she would have wanted to see those magics used rob of the innocent child of the very thing. When we calmed the Vera that day, we right two and wrongs. In so doing. We restored not only the life of one dominant, but the legacy of another. Somewhere. In the back, in of, the my back mind, of my mind, I always knew it would come to this. If it's ever going to end this way, Jill, either Ultima dies or we do. I know. But I still don't think I'm ready for it, and the thought of what you have to do makes me want to cry. Then cry, shout, scream, laugh, do whatever you feel. Our feelings make us who we are and makes us better than Ultima. Thank you. But long ago I swore that only the stars and would see so me cry. For now? I shed my tears, the cloud parts, the heavens return. Right. That's cute. <clears throat> All right. Maybe we have a new orchestra. Vivian obviously has new things to tell us because we've done a whole new story. Overall, the DLC is, was great. It's gonna be a little over 10 hours with all the stuff, all the side quests. Bid time return. So I'm missing one here, one there. And then these are all the ones I have to buy, I bet you. All right. I know there's a whole bunch I have to buy from um, Cheryl. So I'll just leave those for last. There's, just, there's really no good way to make money. What will it be today? How may I help you today? Here you are. The state of the realm <clears throat> is ever changed. I'll change. I'll watch. look at those later. All right, so we've done everything there. I now have Ultima's power. There's new things I'm sure for us to buy in these places. Yep, see. But I'm gonna leave them there. So that way, hopefully, I have enough money to go buy them when the time comes. Let's finish off here. Let's buy the scroll, I guess, sell everything I have, and then look at some of these quests. <sighs> or maybe I'll save them for tomorrow. <clears throat> How long, give or take, do you think those four quests will take us, Lightning? You said they're either long. Him. The one who yes. Do you think he's promised? <laughs> Uh, yes, Jill is mine. Thank you very much. A friend. When you've decided what you want, just let me know. Very well. When you've decided what you want, just let me know. I would assume I'm going to re-get all these things again once I re-beat everything. This is all we can peer. Me if I'm more aqua and marine. I'm pretty sure I got more goblin cone. I only got one. Anything else? Then I bid you good tide. I will have to charge you. Okay. Cascade Orchestra. Well, uh, if maybe an hour. Oh, that's not that bad. I don't know if I actually have another hour though. But yeah, maybe tomorrow we'll just do that. I'm rather frail. I'll just call it post game quests. Probably just use the same thumbnail. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little frustrated. Sometimes I get agitated easily. Aha. And where is this one at? Who must I bought that from? I 
found in a treasure coffer. Oh, I missed it. Oh, that sucks. Was that, did I miss that somewhere in the Eureka dungeon? Does that mean I have to rerun it? Dang it. <clears throat> All these are purchases. Purchase, okay. So I missed one somewhere. I think Safe Haven's the best one. It's him, I tell you. The Crown Prince of Sambra. Yeah, I think we're done for today. I think what tomorrow we'll start like nine. <clears throat> we can stream, do these last four quests Just look at the on YouTube. I might not put the um. Praise be to the heavens. <clears throat> what do you call it? I was thinking lightning like to make sure we don't lose subscribers. Sometimes I think I wonder if I live stream too much for people. So I was wondering if I should like unlist some of the live streams. Like today, this one was a big one. You know, it was the DLC. We want people to new people to come in and see that or new subscribers to see. Oh yeah, they got a quest for me. She got a quest for me. She got a quest for me. You know, we gotta go do those too. The other one was just from some random lady. And then we have who's over here. I heard the tributary can fell an ibex from a hundred. Here, Mister, over here. Random lady, random boy, and then the other two are Moorish important people. So we have like four of those to do. I have news. <clears throat> and then I just have to wander around here to find the aquamarine, or are they in like specific locations? Mystidia is a pretty decent size location for us to uh, get on Chocobo and run around and do stuff. Like, we can level grind here for a little while, too. So I guess we'll play that for tomorrow. If I beat it real early, maybe I'll stop and play Fortnite with some people. But I might do that off stream on the stream and then I'll just play with people. But I guess we'll start Final Fantasy Friday. We can finish up the DLC. We've been going for nine hours. Pretty long time. I have those other saves saved so I can go ahead and um, replay any of it that I want. That will make a new one. 43. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's see here. Boy, I'm stiff from sitting in this chair all day. Excuse me. Oof. That was a bad one. Okay. Oh, I made two of those. We don't need two of those. Yeah, I'll do the rest of this tomorrow. I'll be live about the same time, Lightning. So if you want to come by and watch the rest of it, we can do that tomorrow. We've gone long enough for today. 
Uh, I beat the main story, that's what counts. The Lix beyond the grave, lost in the woods, regal pain. Oh. Hybrid between live streams and pre-recorded content may be the way to go. Yeah, I don't really feel like doing the recording the live streams. Because like, um, it will switch to the... I don't think I'll get in trouble for this music. We'll switch just in case though. <clears throat> cool. Because like I started YouTube making Let's Plays, but that doesn't seem to go that well unless you're already established. So to me, the live streams Cause like I used to just live stream my late, I was like, oh, well, let me just do my let's plays on Twitch and then I'll go ahead and upload them on YouTube. But that didn't really seem to work either. Even if you cut out all the dead space. Um, so that's why we do the lives. I feel like doing the let's plays, playing our game live is me recording it. Um, and then actually posting the videos is what gets better views. Cause like for the new info for Final Fantasy 16, I got 1.8K views, which is great. The Dawn Trail reaction from the live stream we got was 651. I think that's more of the views I've gotten on a past live stream. That was just from this week, I think. I've gotten a lot of views from that Final Fantasy 7 video I made. I got like 300 views from the Dawn Trail one. I'm gonna do the unboxing. I don't know how good my unboxing videos are. I'm gonna go back and look at the stats, but I got in, I know they're old, but I got Final Fantasy Advent Children Ultima out. I'm gonna start by doing this one first. So I might record this tomorrow after we finish the um, DLC, or I might do it later today, I'm not too sure. But this is the poster collection for Final Fantasy 16. That just came out like yesterday. So I'm gonna do that first to make sure that's relevant. I'm gonna read the book, the tale thing, um, I have the Final Fantasy 16 art book. So I'm going to open this up and unbox this one too. I don't know if these are things that you have, but not everybody's going to want to buy them. So if I can make a video of me flipping through the pages, I think that would be cool. Um, I'm gonna make a review video thinking about what I think of the DLC, but I want to wait till we beat these last quests. I want to make a story video of just all the cutscenes, kind of explaining what happened. Um, I think there's a lot, it kind of makes sense, kind of what happened. The people of the water are really cool. I want to talk about them. I'm still gotta make one for the whole story of the game. I think I'll just make a story video for Final Fantasy 16 and then make a platinum video because it's gonna take us a while to beat the uh, Final Fantasy mode. I want to make a video still on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth ending, what I think is going to happen for part three, the story, Final Fantasy VII, I'm making a story of the original, My final, I have my Kingdom Heart Platinum video I'm still working on, then I have to do the Chain of Memory one, so like there's a lot of ideas I have, I just got to get them down, and when I stream Monday through Friday, there's only so much time in the day, so I don't get to do all my videos. So that's why I think we're just going to stream like half the week from now on so I can co focus more on doing my videos. But I appreciate you guys. Thank you, Lightning, for spending the entire day with me pretty much. I know you've gotten up and gone every now and then, but I don't blame you. You were here almost the whole time. You're awesome and amazing. Thank you so much. Let me drop some shalove. Thank you for everybody else who came by the stream. Thank you so much, Sloppy Joe, who came by, snuck in, sniped that subscription on Twitch helps out a lot. Let me see. That got us up to five subaroonies. We were like at six the other day, so hopefully that'll help. Um, but yeah, the subs help out you guys. I want to, um, all these things that I buy, kind of, I fluctuate back and forth from the little bit of money I make off of Twitch. Uh, working hard so we can get stuff on YouTube. We just need to hit the 500. We're at like two something, so we're doing great there. Um, just by subscribing you guys, I don't need the cash money from nobody. I just need you to hit that little subscribe button and that's all that helps subscription likes makes a big deal for videos it's been fun yeah no it's been a great time 
Got a little frustrated at one point, but we did it. Strength and perseverance, we did it. Sometimes you just gotta have a little bit of rage. But yeah, it's been great, you guys. This has been Anthony's Gaming Show. I'll go back and at least put like, um, what do you call it? Timestamps, so that way if you can flip through the video, like, oh, this is when he, he spent this much time dying on the guy. This is the actual end of the battle. This is the side quest. This is the main story. Um, yeah. So I'll go do all that. But y'all have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you. Y'all have a shelltastic day. Thank you for hanging out with me inside the gaming shell. This has been Anthony's Gaming Shell. Bye-bye. We'll be back tomorrow, y'all.